Josh Starr. From I'm on Arena in Dubuque, Iowa tonight, it is game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals in the USHL. The Dubuque Fighting Saints, the number one seed in the East, hosting the number four seed, Youngstown Phantoms. Welcome in to the Dubuque Fighting Saints broadcast network. We'll get you all set for this series here on the pregame show. The Saints, well, it was a great regular season. It started all the way back on September 23rd in Pittsburgh, and it has culminated with the top seed, but that is all out the window in a playoff series. The Saints and the Phantoms, the first game of the Eastern Conference semifinals. In the regular season, the Saints, 41, 13, three and five, 90 points to earn home ice advantage throughout the conference playoffs. The Youngstown Phantoms at 33, 19, six and four, 76 points and four. The Phantoms had to play in the first round, Monday through Wednesday. It took three games. They lost the first one against Madison. They bounced back to win the next two and earn their place in this series. The regular season, what a historic one for the Fighting Saints. 41 wins, the second most in Tier 1 franchise history. 74 power play goals. It led the league. Their power play percentage at 31.5, also the best in the league. And, well, the special teams are going to play a huge role in this series and in the playoffs. You don't get as many chances sometimes in the playoffs. You have to make them count here in the postseason. Noah Powell led the league with 43 goals, 16 of those on the power play, also the most in the league. Yona Vizanin, just the third Saints defenseman in Tier 1 history to get 40 points in a season, one of four defensemen in the league this year to get 40 points. And, well, goaltending in the playoffs, always huge. And Kevin Radler with 27 wins was the second most in the league, and he was tied for fourth with a 902 save percentage. The Saints are going to be relying on their top players, but also the whole entire bunch. And we'll talk to Kurt McDonald in just a few minutes about that. We'll start tonight, the special teams report. The Chick-fil-A power play, like we said, 31.5%, the best in the USHL. It was outstanding all season long. Only twice did it go consecutive games without scoring a goal. And against Youngstown, though, who have a very good penalty kill. It was a bit of a struggle, just three for 20 on the season, one for 10 in the series here in November, two for 10 on the road in March. But Youngstown, a very different team at home and on the road. The Phantoms, 24, three and two on home ice. Of those four regulation losses, two against the Saints, but on the road, 12, 12, three and two. The penalty kill is not as good on the road. It's almost 10% worse. The power play, the second worst road power play in the USHL, 12.7%. The Saints worked all season for home ice. They're hoping that pays off here against the Phantoms. The Fighting Saints penalty kill all regular season and playoffs is brought to you by Crawford North. Each time the Fighting Saints were successful in the penalty kill in the regular season, Crawford North made a donation to One Goal. One Goal's mission is to provide fun, affordable training and equipment to youth hockey players and continue the growth of hockey in Dubuque. The Fighting Saints on the season, 84% exactly on the power play. That was first in the conference, second overall against Youngstown one power play goal allowed on 15 chances that series, which the Saints swept on the road in March, nine for nine in that series. Again, special teams make a difference. The Saints had really good units all year, and they're going to need to continue that in the playoffs. Crawford North, Dubuque's premier provider for HVAC services, welded fabrication, and plumbing. They offer commercial and residential services for all your service needs. I mentioned Kevin Radler in the net tonight for this playoff game one. He, on the season, 39 games played. He won 27 of them. A 902 save percentage, a 2.86 goals against average. Against the Youngstown Phantoms, in four games, he won three of them. The other one was a shootout loss. He had a 920 save percentage. The last time he faced them, he shut them out with 25 saves on March 2nd. 
for every save one of the Fighting Saints goaltenders made throughout the regular season as the Fighting Saints and Great Clips were on a mission all season to get back to vets in our community. Great Clips made a donation to the Veterans Freedom Center on Kerper Boulevard. Again, that 25 save shutout for Raidler. He is in there tonight for the Fighting Saints as he has been all season long. Great Clips. It's going to be great. We're going to take our first break here on the pregame show ahead of game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals. When we come back, we'll chat with the head coach, Kurt McDonald. What makes a playoff team successful in the postseason? Well, the Saints had a great regular season. Kurt McDonald has the recipe when we come back. Since Yamaha introduced their first golf car in 1979, Harris Golf Cars has offered friendly sales and service at their family-owned and operated locations in Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. Come see the wide selection of gas and electric golf cars, as well as Yamaha's complete line of products available for your golf, campground, lake home, neighborhood, and farm needs. Harris takes trade-ins of all brands, and their expert technicians are here to repair and maintain your golf cars. Harris Golf Cars, your destination for all golf car needs. In Dubuque by Hobby Lobby or online. Hey there, John. Job seekers, are you ready to break away from the competition and join a team that wants you to reach your goals and drive your career forward? Michelin in Piasta is recruiting top talent to join their roster and they want you to apply. Whether you're new to the job market or a seasoned pro, Michelin offers a winning playbook with various positions starting over $20 per hour and benefits on day one. Don't sit in the penalty box of missed opportunities. Score big with Michelin in Piasta. Visit jobs.michelinman.com. Are you ready? to score big in your career? Join the winning team at Michelin in Piasta. Michelin is hiring and looking for talented individuals to join their squad. Don't miss your shot at great benefits, advancement opportunities, and a team that feels like family. Positions starting at over $20 an hour and benefits on day one. Take the shot and score your dream job at Michelin and Piasta today. Visit jobs.michelinman.com and join Michelin in Piasta, helping you reach your goals and driving your career forward. Back to your debut fighting scene on Eagle 1023, driven by Finn and Ford and Kia. We're with Bridget, whose husband won't be home for months and whose daughter is due any day. We're with all service members and their families. Are you with them? Learn more at USO.org today. I'm Shanola Hampton. I support the Feeding America network of food banks because they help provide over 6 billion meals to people in need each year. Learn more at feedingamerica.org. Welcome back into the Fighting Saints pregame show for game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals between the Saints and the Youngstown Phantoms. We're joined by head coach Kirk McDonald ahead of the series opener. Kirk, you told me last week that some of the biggest keys for the Saints going into the playoffs were the pace and the depth that the team plays with in the in a playoff series. How, important, how much is the impact that depth can have on a series? Yeah, you know, I, I think any great team that can go on a playoff run needs contributions up and down the lineup like um you know and, and again it's something that we've been lucky enough to get all year and um we have no reason to think it won't continue like we keep saying like our our, our fourth line whoever's listed as our fourth line uh, you know they go out and they give us eight to ten great minutes almost every night where they're they're, they're scoring chances they're playing in the offensive zone they, they, they bring energy they bring momentum like they're not energy vampires for us and again that builds momentum for our you know, our top six. And then all of a sudden now you're, you're gaining, like you said, that momentum in the game and our pace and um, you start to wear teams down. So again, even guys that aren't in the lineup tonight, like we're going to need them at some point. And, you know, I've been through this as a player and, you know, a little bit as a coach where you, you, you want to get going on a run in the playoffs. Like you, you need all 24, 25 guys contributing at some point. In the playoffs, what are the biggest differences between the teams that have success and the teams that don't? Yeah, the commitment level, uh, willingness to, to, to be play with detail. I think that's really pretty simple. Um, you know, you're going to have to go to the hard areas. You're going to have to work like, um, love to say you can tic tac toe every puck in the net, but that's not how it's going to happen. And, uh, we got willing to go, we got to be willing to be greasy and obviously guys like, you know, Handy that we've brought in and Powie. Again, I kind of singling guys out, but every guy's been pretty willing to do it this year where you got to score goals in the blue paint. And if you're not willing to get there, it's going to be tough to score this time of year. So uh, I think those are critical things for us. And, and hopefully we, we get off to a good start tonight. How important is it to keep your emotions in check during the playoffs? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, uh, again, 
things aren't going to always go as you want and there's going to be ups and downs. Things are going to get squirrely at times and just got to roll with the punches. Like, um, you know, if you win a game five, nothing, you lose a game five, nothing. Like it doesn't matter. It's a win or a loss, right? Like it could be, it's the same as a one goal win or loss, right? So it's being even keel going out. Like I said, focusing on today, like all, there is the only thing we need to worry about right now is the game that starts at seven o'clock tonight. And we'll focus on that. And, you know, we're confident that we'll have a great effort. And then, after that, you know, we'll start worrying about the next one. But until then, um, we're going to focus on game one and, and give our best effort. Had some success against Youngstown in the regular season. What were the biggest keys to that? Uh, you know, same things that we talk about all year. Like, we were connected. I thought we, you know, we did a good job defending the rush, you know, limiting their opportunities. Is they're going to send everybody. And I think the better we can defend the rush, again, we limit clean entries, better puck retrievals. We create turnovers in the neutral zone. And in turn, then we're getting things in transition going and we're playing quick and we're catching them in bad spots. So, and then all of a sudden we start to wear teams down. And again, like this isn't some magic potion. I think this is the stuff we've talked about since day one back in September. And, um, you know, we're going to lean into our details and, and the things that we've talked about since then. And, you know, hopefully we have success. Thank you, Kirk. We'll be right back in Dubuque. Calling all local and area businesses. Are you ready to take your brand to the next level? Then listen up, because we've got a power play opportunity for you with the Dubuque Fighting Saints. Picture this, your logo shining bright on the ice or in the Imon Arena, just like our star players. With the Dubuque Fighting Saints, you'll score big visibility with our dedicated fan base. From hat tricks to power plays, our team knows how to deliver thrilling moments. And we want your brand to be part of the action. Join our team roster of sponsors and be a part of a winning team with your Dubuque Fighting Saints. Right Height values and respects each individual employee as a primary asset. That's why we offer a flexible work-life balance, professional training, and education opportunities. Right Height also provides state-of-the-art climate-controlled work environments to keep our team happy and comfortable. Find out why so many current employees receive referral bonuses for recommending their family and friends to Right Height. Visit RITEHITE.com for more information eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate. Not one based on the driver who treats the highway like a racetrack and the shoulder like a passing lane. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California, subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors, which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates North Park, Illinois. The Saints are back, driven by Finn and Ford and Kia. The Fighting Saints and Progressive Processing are proud to bring you the Hormel Completes Complete Game Challenge. Throughout the regular season, when the Fighting Saints won the game, outshot their opponent and won the special teams battle to complete the challenge. Progressive Processing and Hormel made a donation to local food pantries throughout Dubuque. There were 22 of those in the regular season. Find your perfect job today by visiting ProgressiveProcessingJobs.com. Dubuque Screw Products, it's the proud founding partner of the One Goal Mission. One Goal's mission is to provide fun, affordable training and equipment to youth hockey players and continue the growth of hockey in Dubuque. For each goal scored by the Fighting Saints during the regular season, Dubuque Screw Products made a donation to the Dubuque Youth Hockey Association with a goal of growing the sport of hockey in Dubuque. 271 of them, just one away from leading the league, but good enough for first in the East all season long. Dubuque Screw Products, world-class precision machining. Tonight's lineups for game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals. For Youngstown, Sam Ranallo starts at center, Daniel Yenchko on the left wing, and the former Saint Mikey Burchill on the right. This Youngstown penalty kill led the league in shorthanded goals with 10 all season. Seven of those, though, at home. Virgil had one of those seven in Youngstown against the Saints in March. The Saints have to watch out for him when the Saints are on the power play. 
Charlie Serrato will center the top line with the regular season leading point score. Ryan Botterill on the left and Nathan Lewis on the right. He was injured a lot of the year, came back, played 12 games, had eight goals, 15 points. He led the team with a goal and five points in the first round win over Madison. Grant Young centers the second line. Kuzma Veronin on the left, Adam Patilla on the right. Brecken Smith rounds it out. Zach Moran on the left. Ryan Rusinski on the right. Evan Jardine is the extra forward. On the back end, Andrew Strathman and Tori Pittner start. They'll split up after that. Jack Wilson with Strathman. Luke Osborne with Pittner. Connor DeHaro and Tomas Machu are the third pair. Colson Hanrahan, the extra defenseman. And then Carter Murphy may or may not play. He's a game-time decision. There were dealing with some illness on the Youngstown side. So one of those other defensemen may come out of the lineup. Murphy may slot in. Haven't heard official word on that yet. In goal, it's Aiden Wright for the Youngstown Phantoms. In the regular season, he played 22 games, all starts. 13-5-2 into a 9-0-2. Tied for fourth with Kevin Radler and a couple others. 2.59 goals against. He played 20 of the final 27 games for Youngstown. Against the Saints, he was 35 of 40 on one night and then 30 of 32 the next. The Saints able to win both of those games. In the first round, though, well, he had a 786 save percentage in the three games against Madison. Colin Wynn is the backup from the head coach, Ryan Ward. For the Dubuque Fighting Saints, Kirk McDonald starting with Jake Sandriel at center. The captain, Jay Reeder on the left wing. The league's leading goal scorer, Noah Powell, on the right. Noah Powell's resurgence started in November against Youngstown. Heading into that series on November 10th, he had a goal and three, point, uh, three assists in 14 games. He ended the season with 43 goals and 74 points. And it all started on November 10th against Youngstown. Eric Paulson centers Uri Pekar Cheek and Beckett Hendrickson. That line has been unbelievable in 11 games together, 49 points combined. Charlie Aaron centers Gavin Cornforth and Michael Barron. Teddy Merrill with Josh Giuliani on the left, Colin Frank on the right, and Nick Romeo is the extra forward. Fisher Scott and Yona in it start on the back end. Lucas St. Louis and Caleb Dick. Seamus Powell along with Jaden Jubinville and Luke Malba is the extra defenseman for the Fighting Saints. Kevin Radler starts in net in the regular season. He had 39 games played, 27, 5, 2, and 4, 9, 0, 2, 2.86, 3 shutout. Dylan Johnson, the backup tonight for the Fighting Saints. That's all from head coach Kurt McDonald as Tonight's wellness report is brought to you by River Bluff CBD, the premier name in CBD products in Illinois. Out of the lineup for game one, Matt Desiderio and Andrew King. River Bluff CBD aims to provide you with the best quality CBD product on either side of the Mississippi River. Help reduce the stigma in our community. Well, those are the lineups and the stage is set for this Eastern Conference semifinals matchup. When we come back, it's game one, and it's next on the Saints Broadcast Network. It's playoff season to Buke. The hunt for a sixth Clark Cup is on for your Fighting Saints. The Saints have had 13 consecutive playoff berths, and they again sit at the top of the Eastern Conference leaderboard, which means the East runs through our house and gives the Saints home ice advantage. Join the Saints as they look to defend Dubuque and earn their sixth Clark Cup championship. This is another season for the history books, and you should be a part of it. Want to be a part of the action next year, too? Join 563 Nation and become a season ticket holder. Dubuque Fighting Saints 563 Nation is packed with benefits, like significant savings over single-game pricing, exclusive discounts, guaranteed same-seat location, and so much more. Call the Saints office today to learn more. From center ice to on the glass and from goal to goal, there's no bad seat in our house. Get your tickets at DubuqueFightingSaints.com and be a part of the action. Halos high and ring those cowbells. It's playoff season with your Dubuque Fighting Saints. Finnin', 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 finnin'. You're winning with finnin' when you drive away in a finnin' car. You're winning with finnin'. 
And you're always treated like a superstar You're winning with fitting We take pride in customer loyalty We're leaders in the community So come on down and you will see fitting, fitting. You're winning with fitting Fitting Finning, 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 finning. You're winning with finning. When you drive away in a finning car, you're winning with finning. And you're always treated like a superstar. You're winning with finning. We take pride in customer loyalty. We're leaders in the community. So come on down and you will see. Finning, finning. You're winning with finning. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Beaming from the BK Diesel Eagle's Nest from KXGEW, this is the Tri-State classic rock station and home to your debut fighting saints eagle 1023 a town square media station Third, the Dubuque Fighting Saints kicked off this 2023-24 campaign, and 210 days later, a new season begins. Tonight, the Saints host Game 1 of the Eastern Conference Semifinals. The Youngstown Phantoms are in town, and the playoffs are ready to go. Tonight's broadcast is driven by Finn and Ford and Kia, the official vehicles of your Fighting Saints. Stop by their locations off Highway 20 as Finn and Ford and Kia aim to change the perception of car buying. Quick, comfy, and fun. Finn and Ford and Kia, you're winning with Finn and Kevin Raidler takes the net to the left. The Saints dressed in white, red buckets, red pants. The Youngstown Phantoms with Aiden Wright in the net to the right. He is dressed in all black with the gray phantom crest on the front we are set for the puck drop here on the eastern conference semi-final series jake sandriel and sam ranolo will get us underway as the saints look to stay at the top of the east as they were all regular season it starts tonight Sandriel set as they have to separate quickly. Powell and Yenchko, they're ready to go. Sandriol and Ronaldo as these heated rivals are set to begin a playoff series. The puck is down and the Eastern Conference semifinals are underway. The Saints flip the puck into the Youngstown end of the right. It's cranked right back out to center ice and all the way back down. Raidler sticks it to the side, and the Saints will pick up in their own end to the left. All season long, it's this five out on the ice for the Saints that have really led the way. 
Reader, Sandro, and Powell up front. The Saints bank in and go to work on the four check. Fizenin and Scott on the blue line. Sandrell in deep trying to work free. It pops up the near wall. Youngstown zone near boards. Saints whip it back to the point. Reader left side. Scott in from there. The shot. He missed it just wide. It ripped off the corner wall. Back up top. 45 seconds in. Reader the one timer. It went wide of right who didn't quite see it. And Strathman will pick up. Almost a minute into this Eastern Conference semifinal series game one. Fisher Scott steps up hard into Tory Pittner. Lays him out. And the Saints will dump in the puck. Saints will head for a line change. Jay Reader screaming at the bench to fire everybody up a minute in. No score. Saints have had the puck almost this whole first. 110. Jubinville left to right. Paulson across to Pegar Cheek into the offensive zone. Paulson has it back on the right wing. Backhand toward the front. It's blocked. Picked up by Botterill. It's tipped free to center and carried in by Lewis into the Saints end. Cross ice feet. Blocked by Sheamus. Goes in behind the Saints net. Puck in the Dubuque end. Held by Youngstown for the first time. 90 seconds in. Hammered to the side of the net. Lewis steers it off the pad. Raylor stops it. Saints pick up behind the net. Jubinville banks forward. He takes a hit and it is picked up by Dubuque in center 140 in Sheamus into the zone Paulson across ice back checking is Lewis he picked it off St. Louis back it's a two on one right to left Serato into the zone Veronin across St. Louis blocked the pass from the slot he outlets the Hendrickson who gains the red line couldn't dump it in it's picked up by Youngstown in its own net. Two minutes in, still no shots on goal yet, but a couple of opportunities. Veronin battles it into the Saints end, couldn't catch up to it. Raidler swats it to the corner wall. Puck sweeps up the board, Saints end to the left. Picked up by Cornforth, outlets Aaron into the offensive zone, weaving to the left wing. Barron on the far side, he fell down, it pops out to center. Saints will pick up. Michael Barron right wing into the zone, bobbles. Saints will drop it back to center. St. Louis knifes his way forward and then will pass back to the Saints blue line. Two and a half in, left to right, Saints dump in. No score early on in game one of this series. The Saints with home ice as the top seed in the Eastern Conference. Dubuque winning three of the four regular season matchups, taking seven of eight points against the Phantoms this year. Puck dumped in, Saints end to the left. Raidler picks up the team's last met on March 2nd. Cornforth left to right into the zone, snaps it up high, right gloves, and the whistle comes, 250 into play. That is the first shot on goal of this contest by Cornfort. No score early. The Saints on that game on March 2nd. Well, it was a shutout win. 3 nothing for the Saints. Beckett Hendrickson's first weekend as a Saint and the Saints had a contribution immediately from him. He had two goals in that game to help the Saints win it. Saints with the top seed in the Eastern Conference as they finish the regular season and their home here in Dubuque to open up this playoff round. 250 in, no score. Offensive end of the right. Saints win the draw with Teddy Merrill out. Saints at the point. Buys in it. Fires it toward the slot. Chopped wide from there by Merrill. He'll pick it back up on the left wing and charge it in deep. Buys it in from the point on the right side. Couldn't catch up. It's swatted by him and out down the ice. Scott back for it. Three minutes in to this game one. Saints hold on in their own end. They rip up the wall. Frank bobbles and the Saints turn it over, but they grab it right back from Jardine on the wall in behind the net. Fisher Scott cross sites, buys it in plenty of room. Outlets to Giuliani and he'll dump it in. The Saints will head off for a change. Giuliani stays out on the four check. Three and a half in, no score between the Saints and the Phantoms in game one. Puck rattled in deep. Jubinville holds on behind his net, plays it to the far wall. Giuliani still out there. We'll drop back to Sheamus. He'll outlet to center. Sandriol checked. Reader replaces Giuliani, and it's dumped in behind Kevin Rayler. Jubinville back for it. 345 in. No score. Saints to center. Reader leaves for Sandriol. Head of steam into the offensive zone, left to right. Cross ice feed block. Picked up at the point by Sheamus. He heads onto the left circle. The rip. It's tipped away with the glove by right, and he didn't get all of it, but he got enough. Serato picks up, steams up the left wing into the Saints end. Near wall, up to the circle. Lewis, the shot shrugged away by Raylor. The Saints swat the rebound away. Picked up 410 in by Sheamus to the red line, and he'll filter it in deep. He'll head off for a change. Reader in deep. Holds on behind the net. Sips it free to the side, and then he was checked. Dahara will pick up and flips up the board. Malbo behind the net. Picked it off. His dump around back was picked up by Youngstown. St. Louis flagged it down. Hendrickson tried to swat it in deep. It's picked up by Lewis. He'll chip it into the Saint zone. Hit the linesman. Then it's shuttled toward the net, and Raylor has to cover up. The dump in hit the linesman, and then Youngstown able to play it in on goal 
Raylor just taking no chance there. He'll take the face off. 438 into play. No score. Face off in the Saints zone. Early on in this one. Youngstown played the first round series. It took three games to beat Madison. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday in Youngstown. Had to travel all the way to Dubuque. The Saints with the top seed. Had the rest all week, but game one underway so far. The Saints, 445 in, win the draw on their own end and move in. Swatted toward the net by Paulson, sticked away, goes all the way to the point. Peck Archik has it there. D to D across the line. Malbuff will wind it in behind the net. Hendrickson picks up, shields the puck to the circle, comes out to the top of the zone, feeds to the right wing. Paulson takes it off the half wall up top. Malba quickly across the point. Has St. Louis his rip. It was hit off the mask of right. Bounces around in front. They jab away. It's loose. And it goes to the corner wall. They all crashed into right. Who ended up in the net. Saints have it back right side. Turn in front. Loose. Rebound. And it's fired wide by Paulson. He had a wide open net to shoot out. Right was all turned around. The puck bounced to Eric on the circle. Saints have it back toward the point. But it was tipped out to center. And it goes back into the Saints. And a great chance for the Saints. The best of the night for either team. Still scoreless, five and a half in. Puck back in the Saints end. They start four left to right. They lose it in center. It's Brecken Smith into the zone. Swings it toward the front. Blocked away by Dubuque. It goes back down the wall, though. Patilla has it. Hard angle shot. Saved by Raylor. Rebound back on. And he stopped that one, too, and covered up. It was Veronin who got the rebound chance on the backhand. And Raylor made the save. 5.30. 5.47 in to this opening period of game one. The Saints have some jump early. Still scoreless. We'll be right back. Finning, 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 finning. You're winning with finning. When you drive away in a finning car, you're winning with finning. And your ride is treated like a superstar. You're winning with finning. We take pride in customer loyalty. We're leaders in the community. So come on down and you will see. Finning, you're winning with Finning. Finning. No score, 547 into the first. Fisher Scott and Adam Patilla both sitting in the box after the skirmish at the end of the last whistle. Didn't get an official call yet. I assume roughing on both, and it'll be four on four here in the early going. 14-13 to go in this opening period. Saints in their own zone for a face-off. Sandrell and Reeder up front. Visenin and Sheamus, the defenseman, with Scott in the box. The Saints win the draw, own end of the left, start forward. Six minutes in, four on four for another 150. Sandro steamrolls up the right wing, shields the puck in behind the net, banks it up to the point. Sheamus in there, his pass down low intercepted. Wilson right to left, has Botteril cross ice out of the reach of Serato. It bounds in behind the Saints net. Serato picks up. He'll back into the point. Wilson off the left side, walks the line, leaves the Serato center point, cuts to the high slot, leaves back to Osborne. Center point is shot, blocked by Reeder. It broke his stick. Saints have Reeder without a stick. Puck in behind the net, Serato to the circle. Botterill the shot. It was blocked in front by Visenin. Back into the corner. Wilson picks up. Skates low to high. Holds on center point. Feed to the left wing. Reader with a stick from the bench. And he intercepts the pass. He'll outlet to Sandriel into the offensive zone. Back toward Reader on the left side. He was held up and couldn't get the pass in his control. 13 and a quarter left in the first. Halfway through this four on four. Wilson right back into the same sand. He was checked from behind. Still got the shot away. Raidler snared it and kicked it away. Reader up the right wing into the offensive zone. Off to the left side. High slot is rip. It was blocked up and out of play by Pittner. And the whistle seven minutes in to the first. No score. 48 seconds left on the four on four. It was roughing against both Scott and Patilla. And the Saints with the four on four chance. Here, offensive zone draw. It's Eric Paulson. It's Noah Powell up front. Caleb Dick and Jaden Jubinville on the back end. Virgil against Paulson in the faceoff circle. Young sound end of the right on the far dot. Aiden Wright has made three saves so far. Watches on to his right as Paulson and Virgil square up to take this draw. It's won by Youngstown, and it is 
Strathman to pick up behind his own net. He'll outlet to Pittner quickly up the right wing into the Saints end. He'll drop it to the right boards, and Burchill will launch it in behind the net. Ronaldo chases after it there. Caleb Dick intercepts him, and he'll outlet toward Paulson. He'll turn, feed to the left side, and Jubinville will slow it down in his own net. 25 to go on this four-on-four -four chance. No score early on in game one of this Eastern Conference semifinal series. Saints and Phantoms, 12-28 left in this opening frame. Noah Powell to the right wing, outlets to center. Caleb Dick gains the red line, chips it in. The Saints will chase as they change the fence pair, and Youngstown will pick up behind its own net. Young will start forward right to left to center. Strathman on the left wing, top of the circle, near side. Saints end, cuts to the front, his backhand on goal, saved by Raylor. He shrugged it away with the left arm. It pops to the corner wall. Saints will pick up on the boards. Paulson and Patilla battle for it as the four-on-four -four is over, and the puck played with a hand pass by Youngstown, so the faceoff will come out to center. Scott and Patilla done serving the roughing minors, and it's back to five-on-five, 11.57 five, to go in the first period. Referees tonight, Ryan Siegel and Anthony Victor, the linesman, Dane Hopkins, and Odin Nelson. Only called so far were matching roughing minors against Fisher Scott and Adam Patilla. Neutral zone draw with 11.57 left in this first period. It's dropped. Saints win it as Hendrickson and Pegarchik take a shift with Sandrell after Paulson was out on the four-on-four. -four. Saints work into the offensive zone. Picked up, bottom of the circle, Sandrell banks to the point. Off the wall, St. Louis, the shot in front, tipped by Hendrickson. Kicked out with the left leg by right. Saints pick back up on the right wing boards. Peck our cheek toward the high slot. To the left wing, holds on bottom of the circle. Looking in front, it goes all the way around, tried the wraparound, bobbled. Has it back in the corner, and a penalty is coming. The Saints have the puck. And a high stick was spotted. It's going to go against the Saints. Eleven thirty to go in this first period, and the Saints are going to head to the first Crawford North penalty kill of this series. Peckar Cheek being called for the high stick. Kurt McDonald wants an explanation. He's getting a conversation now from Anthony Victor. But the Saints are headed to the first Crawford North penalty kill of the night. 84% to lead the Eastern Conference in the regular season. 14 of 15 overall against Youngstown. Nine for nine the last time. The Saints against this Youngstown penalty kill at 19.6 in the regular season. Seventh in the East. One for 15 against the Saints and 12.7% on the road in the regular season. Against Madison, though, three for seven. Saints have to keep the penalty kill roll. Reader will take the draw his own end of the left. 11 and a half remaining in this first period. No score. Shots 5-3 in favor of Youngstown. Serato taking the draw against Reader. The Saints wanted... Serato to be called away from the circle, but he isn't, and Youngstown wins the draw. It's fed toward the front, swatted to the wall by the Saints, and it's back to the point. A two-minute minor on Peckar Cheek for high sticking. Shot from the point. Batted in front. It's loose in the slot. Saints fine. Pushed forward, but not out. It was tipped and kept in by Strathman. Back up the wall. Scott finds and backs it all the way down. 135 left on the kill. The first of this series for the Saints. 11.03 to go in this scoreless first period of game one. Serato, right to left, drops back to Strathman. He'll weave across the Saints line on the right wing and has Young, who will charge it in behind the net. Back to the left wing, Botterill low to high. Serato down the boards. He'll leave it up top for Strathman, walking the line. Strathman center point, back to the left wing. Botterill shot, blocked by Weisen. Saints knock it to the corner wall, 108 on the penalty. Back toward the circles, steer to the side of the net, hammered on. It's loose, side of the cage, Saints fine, can't clear. Strathman kept it in, top of the circle, down low. Back toward the point, the pass tipped by Reeder, and it bounces back to center. 55 to go on the kill, 10.25 left in the first. A strong start, so important in these playoff series. Saints trying to avoid giving up the first here on the kill. 45 seconds left on it. Right wing, Patilla, far side, Saints end to the left. Picked up in the corner by Burchill. His former teammate, Fisher Scott, steps into him. The puck back to the point. Across ice, Pittner to Yenchko. Left side, the shot. Hit Scott in front. Batted to the side, and then the pass up top goes all the way back down. From Youngstown, 30 left on the kill. Just past halfway through the first. 
No score. Pittner back forward in his own end. Stumbles briefly. Starts forward for Youngstown in center. It's knocked away by Noah Powell. And then the Saints pick up in their blue line and clear all the way down with Malba. Ten seconds left on the kill. 9.40 to go in the first. No score. Youngstown back behind its own net, starting ahead right to left. Near wing, Yenchka towards center. Giuliani crashes to him. It's dumped in St. Cent. In behind Jubinville there. He plays it up. It's Pekarchik out of the box, but the Saints can't clear. Veronin down the left wing. Picked off by Malbuff. He'll chip it up the glass, and the Saints carry to center. A successful cross for North PK. Pekarchik into the offensive zone and out of the box. He'll chip it in back. Cornforth races after it. Saints with a big kill early on. They can't pick up in the offensive zone, though, and it is Brecken Smith right to left across the Saints line, but offside called, and then a late force of contact along the wall, and that draws a crowd in the Saints end. 9.05 left in the first period. The Saints with a kill early on, and some extracurriculars after the whistle here as these teams get reacquainted early on in this playoff game. We'll step aside. 9.05 left in a scoreless first. Finning, 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 finning. You're winning with finning. When you drive away in a finning car, you're winning with finning. If your ride is treated like a superstar, you're winning with finning. We take pride in customer loyalty. We're leaders in the community. So come on down and you will see. Winning, you're winning with Finning. Finning. Tonight's broadcast on Eagle 1023 is presented by Michelin in Piazza. Fighting Saints are back home tomorrow for game two of this series. That's at 5.05 Central Time here in Dubuque. Then Tuesday in Youngstown, 6.05 Central Time puck drop. And then Wednesday, if necessary, for game four in Youngstown, same time for both of those road games. Watch parties will be held here at I'm on Arena. Come on down to the rink and watch the team. The Saints hoping they have a series lead at that point. 9.05 left in this first period. No score. The Saints with a penalty kill already. They're being outshot 8-3, but I don't know that that's really indicative of the way this game has gone. The Saints have had a good start until they had to kill off that penalty and spent some time in their own net. Puck turned into the Saints end from center. At the point, Wilson fires on and Radler gloves. He'll hold on, 8.54 to go in the first period. No score, Saints and Phantoms. Face off, Saints end to the left. Aaron Barron and Cornforth out for the Saints. Sheamus and Jaden Jubinville on the back end. 8.54 to go and a scoreless first. Game one of the Eastern Semis. It is picked up by the Saints. They'll tip up the wall. Smith intercepts for Youngstown. He'll chip it to the corner. Jubinville there. Skates to the circles and outlets toward Aaron. Then he turns it over. Kept in by Youngstown. On the center point, the Saints flip it back ahead to center. And it's taken back by Hanrahan. He'll go right to left. Batted around in the neutral zone. Morin dumps in. All the way behind Kevin Raylor. Sheamus back for it. Holds on. He tries to chip it ahead. He has Cornforth, but he couldn't handle it. Turning and firing is Morin. It was tipped wide. Burchill low to high. Osborne across the blue line. Hanrahan right side. Back through the seam to the left circle. Smith turns back up to the top. His pass across ice. Knocked out of the air by Cornforth. Barron picks up. He'll outlet back to Gavin on the left wing. Just over eight to play in a scoreless first. Gavin into the zone. Feeds Barron in front of the shot. It's turned away. And then Aaron had an open net, but he was checked and couldn't find a way to get the shot. All. It's cleared all the way down by Youngstown and icing is called by against Youngstown. Saints will head back down into the offensive zone for a face-off with 7.57 to go in the first. No score. Saints send out Paulson, Peckard, Cheek, and Hendrickson. Bison in and Scott on the blue line. Face off, left circle for the Saints, far wing. 
Serato out for Youngstown to take the face off. It is tied up, goes to the wall, and the Saints kick free. Paulson backs to the point, has Scott there. His shot way over the bar, off the end glass, picked up by Veronin on the wall. He'll slide it ahead. Pekar Cheek intercepts across ice, left wing. Hendrickson drops to Paulson, and his snap was blocked by Hanrahan. He slid down. It stung him a little. It goes up out of play. Hanrahan back to the bench. He looks like he's fine from that. 7.41 to go in the first. No score. Saints will change up the forward group. Merrill, Frank, and Romeo step out to the ice. Curry McDonald telling us all year long how important this group has been for the Saints. The fourth line guys who have been rotating throughout all season. They've made a difference, and the Saints feel like they have four lines that can go up against any line in this league. Merrill taking the draw here with Romeo and Frank on his wings. Vizen in and Scott on the back end. Left circle, Saints offensive zone to the right. Face off one by Youngstown. Kept in at the point by Vizen and down the wall. Romeo, high slot. Merrill, the shot. Saved in front. Batted around. Bobbled by right. The Saints pick back up. Frank looks to the top, then cuts down below the goal line. Near corner. In back. He's checked by DeHaro. Still muscles the puck up to the point. Scott holds on left point. His shot deflected up high by Merrill. He finds it at the top of the circle. His snap blocked again by Machu. Back up top on the right side. Vizen in. Holds on there. Down the wall for Merrill on the cycle. He'll spin it into the corner. Romeo behind the net. He's checked. Frank trying to chase it free with Serato, who goes down. The Saints find the puck to the point. Scott, he'll shoot. It's bunched away. It goes in behind. Paulson trying to feed back in front. The pass across fan on by Romeo. Saints have it back at the point. Vizen in from the feed across back to Scott. Left side under seven to play in a scoreless first. Center point. Vizen in. He bobbled. And it's picked up by Tahara. Botteril to center on the left wing into the offensive end. Side of the net. Radler out of the net. Leads to the corner and Vizen in has it there. His outlet right there for Eric Paulson. Cross ice. Tipped into the zone by Peckar Cheek. He'll rumble in after it. Pittner in back. Plays up the wall. Paulson there on the near boards for the Saints. He'll chip it below the goal line. Peckar Cheek swarmed in the corner. Saints try to dig free with Hendrickson. And Peckar Cheek battling away with two Phantoms. Puck comes up the wall. Dick has it. He'll shoot toward the net. Blocked by Pittner. 6.20 to go in the first. No score. Youngstown picks up the outlet to Ronaldo on the left wing. He cuts into the Saints end, slides it toward the net. It was blocked. In Ronaldo skates, he has it back in the far corner. Pops up the wall. Burchill fires it back down low. Into the near corner. St. Louis up the boards. It was stopped. Hendricks in there to try and dig free, and it's pinned to the wall. Saints end to the left under six to play in the first. No score. Game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals. They battle along the half wall. Saints end just at the bottom of the circle. Youngstown wins. Strathman at the point. Sips his way past Hendrickson, turns around at the blue line, fanned on it, and has to take it back to the center. Holds on and goes across ice for Pittner. 5.40 to go in the first. No score. Pittner feeds Strathman into the zone. He's checked by Noah, and the Saints knock the puck in behind the net. Free for St. Louis to gather in the corner. Left to right, he'll bank it ahead. It hops over the wall past Noah, and in a penalty is being called behind the play. It's Rusinski headed to the box for tripping. And the Saints are going to get their first Chick-fil-A power play of the playoffs. 5.24 left in a scoreless first period. Rusinski, two minutes for tripping. The Saints power play, the best in the USHL, 31.5% in the regular season. Three for 20 against Youngstown over four games. The Youngstown PK, well, it's a good one. 78.9%. Second in the East, sixth overall. And the most shorthanded goals in the league, 10. Seven of those, though, again, at home. Still, the Saints have to be careful as they look to score the first goal and strike first in this series. 5.24 left in the first. Sandriel out to take the draw. Reader, Peck, our chief, Bison in, and St. Louis out. The Saints can't win the draw. It's played up and out by Youngstown. It goes out of play, though, so the faceoff is going to stay in the offensive zone for the Saints. 5.20 left in the first, four seconds in to the Saints' first power play of the night. No score. Saints killed off the only penalty they faced so far in the first period. With 5.20 to go in this opening frame. Saints looking to land the first punch in this series. On the power play, their league-leading power play in the regular season. Sandrell. 
taking the face off. It is tied up in the circle. They battle along top of the ring. Saints play toward the point. Buys it and tips it forward, and the Saints keep in. They wrap it around the wall to the near side. Sandriel chases, tries to back in down low block, but St. Louis holds on, keeps it in at the point. Feeds to the circle. Sandriel up top, buys it in, and the Saints are set up. 135 on the power play. Chopped in front by Reader. Swung on net, and it was punched away by Wright with the blocker. Sandriel letting that shot go. Saints try to converge in the corner. It's played up the wall and out. Just past Vizen and tried to reach across to keep it in. Left to right. Saints try to start right back in. 120 on the power play. Right wing feet. St. Louis into the zone. Top of the near circle. Holds on. Scoreless in the first. 440 to play. Vizen and swings across ice at the blue line. Pegar cheek to the side of the net. Reader at it. Tipped away as it back behind the cage. To the near circle for St. Louis. Surveying. Up to the point. Has Vizen in. Left wing feet. Pekar cheek. Top of the circle. Back across. One timer. St. Louis. He healed it. It hit his own shin pad and then bounced right to the front. Run and right covered it up. 101 left on the power play for the Saints with Rusinski sitting for a trip. 424 left in the first, no score. Right, Noah Powell, Beck and Hendrickson, Eric Paulson, fourth, fourth, and Sheamus at the point. Patilla against Noah, right wing circle for the Saints near side. Late stages in the first. The first power play of the night for the Saints. There's a halfway through it. It bounces to the wall off the faceoff, and it's shipped to center by Burchill. Patilla racing forward. He gets by Sheamus, but then Sheamus recovers. He springs Noah ahead. Saints into the offensive zone. High slot, corn forward to the left wing. The one-timer, Paulson, and it was stopped on the circle by right. Back up top. It's Sheamus down the board. Paulson side of the net. Hendrickson back up top. Paulson 35 on the power play. Center point feed for Sheamus. Back to the right wing. Paulson low toward Hendrickson. They switch places. Side of the net. Chopped back up top and it went past Noah out to center. 25 to go on the power play for the Saints. Left wing. Hendrickson right back in. He'll knuckle across Sykes. Paulson off the wall. Banks back to the top. Noah cutting in bottom of the circle. In front he tried to find Hendrickson. It was blocked and swept out all the way down. Just 10 left on the power play for the Saints. Three and a half to go in the first. No score. First game of this best of five series. Saints and Phantoms left to right. Corn fourth into the zone. Swings it on net as Youngstown gets Rusinski out of the box. Both teams 0 for 1 on the power play. Hanrahan out to center. Right to left. Stopped by Merrill briefly, but Serato picks up into the Saints end. Merrill steps into him, and the pass across ice tips up and out of play. With 3.09 to go in the first. No score. The Saints unable to convert on the first power play tonight, but they've evened up the shot count mostly. It's 10-9 Phantoms late in this first period. Both goaltenders have stopped every shot so far. Aiden Wright for the Phantoms. Kevin Rayler for the Saints. Face off Saints end of the left on the far circle. It's Teddy Merrill to take the draw against Charlie Serrato. Saints in. One by the Saints. It goes in on goal, and Raylor sits it to the corner. The Saints pick up behind the net. Cross ice behind. Malbuff up the wall, banks forward. The Saints able to move to center. Romeo outlets. Frank trying to carry into the zone. He's forced backward. It was stopped at the blue line and swept down the ice. Saints have to go back for it. Icing canceled. Jubinville behind his own net with 2.45 to play. Has Malbuff there. The outlet left wing for Romeo looking across ice. It was blocked. Picked back up by Youngstown in its own end just inside the blue line. Osborne right to left, dumps in, cross corner. Saints pick up in their own zone. Malbuff quickly banks to center, but picked off by Pittner and hammered in on net. Raylor sticks it aside, and the Saints will pick up. Merrill with 2.25 to play in the first. He'll chip it in deep. Saints chase right out of the net, leads to the corner wall, up the boards, and out to center. Fisher Scott on it there. Saints pick up in the neutral zone. Late in the first, no score. Vizen in, falling down across sides. Gloved down by Giuliani. He holds on left wing. Back up top, Scotty from the point. In front, Barron on the back door. Couldn't reach the pass. Up top, Vizen in, back down the wall. Right wing, Barron at the circles. Hash marks, he'll skate to the middle of the ring, then take it in behind the net. Holding on, wraparound try, saved. Rebound, they jab away. Merrill dumped in front. They still try to force it free, and it was taken out by... Youngstown right to left and offside at the Saints line with 145 to go in the first. No score. Saints 
all season long, really, the big thing for the Saints was how aggressive they are, how tenacious they are in deep in the offensive zone. And while that's shown in this period, a lot of their chances have been from for, for checking hard and trying to work pucks free and deep. 11 shots apiece in this first period, 145 to go in this opening frame. Neutral zone face off outside the Saints blue line to the left. Far side of the neutral zone. Patilla and Reeder being spoken to by the linesman before he drops the puck. 145 left in the first, no score. They drop it, but the other linesman blows the play dead again. It's the playoffs. Everybody trying to get the edge in this game. Reeder and Patilla jousting on the far wing at this faceoff. Sandriol and Smith to take the draw, and it's won by Youngstown. Final two of the first. DeHaro into the Saints end, left wing feet. Veronin tips it in deep. He has it in the corner, works back up top. Bison it right on him, and he intercepts the pass down low. Cross ice for Scott. Outlets Reader. Left wing. Weaves across center. His pass behind Sandra, who will backhand in deep. Saints will try to chase. Reader was spilled behind the play, trying to get into the zone, and it's Youngstown right to left to center. Tipped by Scott at the Saints line. Picked up in center by Noah. Tried to rip it forward for Reader, but it was blocked, and Machu will pick up behind his own net. 110 to go in the first. Machu. Outlets towards center. Tipped by the Saints, but picked up by Smith. Right wing into the zone. Drop top of the circle. And Noah swatted it away to center. Reader tips forward. Sandrell tries to knuckle it in deep. It's picked up by DeHaro in the final minute of the first. Right to left. Machu to center. Veronin into the Saints end. Right wing. Puck hops on him. He resettles. Fists it toward the front. It hits the crossbar. That bounced off of Dick's stick, I believe. And it went in off the post. The Saints able to take it out to center. 40 seconds in the period. It's ripped back in. Bounced in on Raylor. He settles. Leaves to the side for Dick. He'll bank to the corner. St. Louis outlets. Tipped by Paulson. And then hammered back in to the Saints end. Half a minute to go in the first. No score. St. Louis up the wall. Peck our cheek. Fans on the pass. Taken over. Yenchko high slot. He fanned on the shot. Rebound. He had it back and the Saints blocked it. In behind. 20 seconds left in the first. Saints couldn't get out of their zone. They turned it over with a pass up top. Hopped over Wilson's stick. He'll turn it back in deep. Saints hold on in their own end with Raylor behind the net. Back up the wall. Near side with five seconds to go in the period. Hendrickson outlets. Three seconds. Paulson rips into the zone. Tries to get a shot away. Peck our cheek shot at the buzzer was blocked and never reached the net. So no score after the first period in game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals. 11 shots apiece in the first. Both teams unsuccessful on one power play chance each. The Saints and the Phantoms. Game one of the Eastern Conference semi. Scoreless after 20. We'll come back. We'll talk to Jake Sandrell in the intermission. And we'll get you all set for period number two here in Dubuque. Are you looking for a family-friendly, flexible employer with career advancement potential? Well, look no further. Due to increased business demands, Wright Height in Dubuque is now interviewing for first and second shift manufacturing associates to do assembly and industrial sewing in our doors division. Qualified candidates will possess a high school diploma or GED. Experience using handheld power tools is highly desired. There is a full extensive training program provided. For more details, apply online at wrightheight.com. That's R-I-T-E-H-I-T-E.com. Wright Height is an equal opportunity employer and drug-free workplace. The hunt for the Clark Cup is on for the Dubuque Fighting Saints. The USHL Eastern Conference semifinals return for Game 2 against the Youngstown Phantoms Sunday night with puck drop at 7.05. Get tickets now at DubuqueFightingSaints.com. Lace up and join the excitement with your Dubuque Fighting Saints. This isn't just any sports team. It's a force to be reckoned with on the ice. Picture this, the crowd roaring, the puck flying, and the Dubuque Fighting Saints dominating the game like true champions. Align your brand with the Saints and score big. Become a sponsor of the Dubuque Fighting Saints and get your brand in front of thousands of passionate fans, both in the arena and online. From power plays to penalty kills, your brand will be part of every thrilling moment on the ice. So don't sit on the bench. Join the winning team and become a sponsor of the Dubuque Fighting Saints today. Hi, I'm the Crawford Guy. And I'm the Crawford Lady. You know, Crawford is the comfort company. We're experts at keeping you comfortable all year long. 
So if your home or business has areas that feel too warm or too cold, Crawford will get to work and solve the problem. Visit CrawfordNorth.com to see energy rebates and discounts on qualifying systems from Bryant. Whatever it takes. For heating and air conditioning. Plumbing and drain cleaning. Count on Crawford Company. Visit CrawfordNorth.com. Hey, I'm Jackie. And a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit is the chicken. It is golden brown, so juicy, so delicious. It's the perfect savory start to my day. Start your day with the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit available on the Chick-fil-A app. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonial. Looking to book a getaway for your family, friends, travel group, or a student class trip? Tri-State Travel handles everything, including round trip transportation on one of their very own deluxe motor coaches with our new luxury coach options, in-person consultation, airfare, hotel accommodations, admissions, sporting events, performance Performances, online booking, travel protection insurance, and much more. Call Tri-State Travel at 800-779-4869 or go to tristatetravel.com and start planning today. Know that your travel agency is also rolling up to greet you at your front door. The hunt for the Clark Cup is on for your debut Fighting Saints. The Eastern Conference semifinals return for Game 2 Sunday night. Puck drops at 5.05. The Saints will be battling it out with the Youngstown Phantoms, and this is a game you won't want to miss. Join the Saints as they look to defend debut and earn their sixth Clark Cup championship. This is another season for the history books, and you should be a part of it. Want to be a part of the action next year, too? Join 563 Nation and become a season ticket holder. Dubuque Fighting Saints 563 Nation is packed with benefits, like significant savings over single-game pricing, exclusive discounts, guaranteed same-seat location, and so much more. Call the Saints today to learn more. From center ice to on the glass and from goal to goal, there's no bad seat in our house. Get your tickets at DubuqueFightingSaints.com and be a part of the action. Pay those high and ring those cowbells. It's playoff season with your Dubuque Fighting Saints. For the ones who work hard to ensure their crew can always go the extra mile. And the ones who get in early so everyone can go home on time. There's Granger, offering professional-grade supplies backed by product experts so you can quickly and easily find what you need. Plus, you can count on access to a committed team ready to go the extra mile for you. Call, clickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger for the ones who get it done. The future depends on teachers who are reinventing the classroom and starting their students on journeys that will change the course of history. Shape the future. Teach. Learn more and receive free support at teach.org. The future depends on teachers who are reinventing the classroom and starting their students on journeys that will change the course of history. Shape the future. Teach. Learn more and receive free support at teach.org. Back to Saints Hockey Action, driven by Finn and Ford and Kia on Eagle 1023. We're joined by Saints captain Jake Sandrell as the Saints open up the playoffs this weekend at home. Jake, for you guys, a lot of you coming back from last year that that got a part of the playoff run. What was the experience you took from that that you can take into this year? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, something we took away is these games are always going to be close. Um, you know, we played two pretty good teams last year and every game was tight. So I think knowing that, you know, you're not going to blow a team out and that uh, they're going to bring their A game every game. So just knowing that and uh, just... Uh, got to compete against them team playing really good down the stretch of the season what can you guys take from there into the playoffs yeah i think just the confidence that we're playing good hockey and uh continue to do what we're doing what's the difference is for you guys preparing for for playoff games and, and kind of getting ready for the physicality the the long minutes and, and everything that has to do with the playoff game yeah, I think it's just uh, all in the details. Um, you know, if it comes down to those long games, like no one's going to have their legs. So it's all who wants to do the mental stuff better and uh, who's more detailed. Last one, home ice advantage in the playoffs. How important is that? Uh, it's huge. I think the travel and all that stuff wears on you. So I think being home and, you know, getting that first round by was massive. That's Jake Sandro's Saints open the playoffs. Thank you. It's playoff season to view. The hunt for a sixth Clark Cup is on for your Fighting Saints. Saints sit at the top of the leaderboard, and the East runs through our house with home ice advantage. Check out upcoming games and get tickets at TheViewFightingSaints.com. Michelin is in the recruitment game, and they are scouting for talented people to join their team. 
at Michelin and Piasta, they aren't just offering jobs, they're offering opportunities to drive your career forward. Whether you're a seasoned player or just lacing up your skates in the job market, Michelin has opportunities for you, offering benefits day one and competitive wages starting over $20 per hour. Don't get caught off sides in your job search. Go to jobs.michelinman.com. Michelin, where your career journey is as exciting as the final minutes of a tied hockey game. At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise, our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations, we're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips, it's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. Rev up your excitement because Sunday Night Racing is back with a vengeance at the Dubuque County Fairgrounds Speedway. Feel the thrill of the track as we kick off the season opener Sunday, April 28th. Get ready for heart-stopping IMCA dirt track racing on Dubuque's lightning fast 3 8 mile track. It's a battle of speed, skill, and pure adrenaline as drivers push the limits to earn the wave at the checkered flag. Grab your crew and experience the rush of Sunday Night Racing starting April 28th at the Dubuque County Fairgrounds Speedway. Learn more at dbqfairspeedway.com. Ever wonder where the capital A in Chick-fil-A came from? It started with grade A, top quality chicken. But we believed everything, not just the food, should be grade A. The A in Chick-fil-A is for all the little things we do to bring you our best every day. Are you ready to elevate your brand to legendary status? Then listen up, because the Dubuque Fighting Saints have an offer you can't afford to miss. Joining forces with the Saints means more than just getting your logo on the ice. It means becoming part of a rich history of community involvement, passionate fans, and championship glory. For years, the Dubuque Fighting Saints have been a cornerstone of this community, rallying fans, young and old, around the thrill of the game. And let's talk championships. With multiple Clark Cup and Topaco Cowbell Cup titles under their belt, the Saints aren't just contenders, they're proven winners, delivering heart-stopping moments on the ice year after year. When you partner with the Dubuque Fighting Saints, you're not just gaining brand visibility, you're joining a hockey family like no other. So whether you're a seasoned sponsor or a rookie looking to make your mark, now's the time to jump on board with the Dubuque Fighting Saints and become a sponsor. Call the Saints office or visit them online at DubuqueFightingSaints.com to learn more. Now. Now your ideas don't have to wait. Now they have everything they need to come to life. Dell Technologies and Intel are creating technology that loves ideas, loves expanding your business, evolving your passions. We push what technology can do so great ideas can happen right now. Find out how to bring your ideas to life at Dell.com. Welcome to now. eBay Motors is here for the ride. 120,000 miles of night drives, daily commutes, and who knows how many. Are we there yet? Through countless fixes, elbow grease, and a new radiator, you kept your ride alive. With eBay Motors, you have over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Beaming from the BK Diesel Eagle's Nest from KXGEW. This is the Tri-State Classic Rock Station and home to your debut Fighting Saints. Eagle 1023, a Town Square Media Station. Back inside, I'm on Arena as the Saints and Phantoms are scoreless after one period in Game 1 of this Eastern Conference semifinal series. 11 shots apiece in the first. Both teams unsuccessful on one power play chance. There was two minutes of four on four as well that neither team scored on. And both goaltenders good. 11 saves each for Aiden Wright and Kevin Raidler across the USHL tonight in East in conference semifinal action. Fargo ahead 2-1 after 40 on Tri-City. That's game one of that series. Sioux City won last night, and they're up 3-1 again on Lincoln after 40 minutes. And the Green Bay Gamblers were up 2-0 over Muskegon early, but Muskegon came back to tie it. Green Bay has since taken a 3-2 lead that game is 40 minutes down as well. And then the Saints and Phantoms scoreless after one. The Saints play the winner of that Green Bay Muskegon series. If they are able to advance from this round, but still a long, long way to go before that. The Saints and the Phantoms scoreless after one in game one 
as we will come back here in Dubuque with the second period coming up in just a few. Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. Then you add the spices, instant classic. Order the Spicy Chicken Biscuit on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real Chick-fil-A guests pay for their testimonials. Hey, I'm the Crawford guy. guy. Ooh, do you guys always speak at the same time? Uh, sorry. I'll go first. You know, if you need help with your heating or air conditioning or plumbing, Crawford Company can solve your problem. But what about your problem? What problem? Do you not hear yourselves? Take it from me, the Crawford lady. And, and me, me, the, the Crawford, Crawford guy. guy. Crawford is the comfort company. Visit CrawfordNorth.com. Progressive Processing, a Hormel Foods company, is hiring great people across all shifts with new starting wages of $20.60 per hour to $25 per hour with the potential to earn up to $27 per hour. The team at Progressive Processing takes pride in producing popular and trusted Hormel Foods products that are sold in grocery stores across the country. They provide industry-leading benefits, a culture of engagement, and a variety of schedule options. See their openings and find your perfect job today at ProgressiveProcessingJobs.com. At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise, our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations, we're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips, it's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. Since Yamaha introduced their first golf car in 1979, Harris Golf Cars has offered friendly sales and service at their family-owned and operated locations in Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. Come see the wide selection of gas and electric golf cars, as well as Yamaha's complete line of products available for your golf, campground, lake home, neighborhood, and farm needs. Harris takes trade-ins of all brands, and their expert technicians are here to repair and maintain your golf cars. Harris Golf. Cars, your destination for all golf car needs. In Dubuque by Hobby Lobby or online. Let's party at a Dubuque Fighting Saints game. Book your next group outing with a Quick Star Party Corner at a Saints game. Bring up to 20 people to enjoy an exciting night of fun and hockey with an unbeatable view of all the action on the ice in your own reserved seating area. Quick Star Party Corners start at $500 with food and beverage options available. Party Corners are perfect for corporate nights, birthdays, bachelor, bachelorette parties, or a friend's night out. Get together, pack the house, and cheer on your Dubuque Fighting Saints. For more information, visit DubuqueFightingSaints.com. Windstar Lines is a family-owned and operated local Dubuque charter bus company that has been serving customers nationwide since 1995. With eight Midwestern hubs and a varied fleet, including minibuses, motor coaches, sleeper buses, and vans, we are able to accommodate any group, large or small, to any destination near or far. With over 20 years in the travel and tourism industry, our reputation for superior safety, impeccable equipment, and unparalleled customer service makes us the right choice for your group's transportation needs. Now hiring full and part-time drivers. Go Windstar. Hey, I'm Jackie. And a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit is the chicken. It is golden brown, so juicy, so delicious. It's the perfect savory start to my day. Start your day with the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit available on the Chick-fil-A app. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonial. Don't want to miss any Fighting Saints action this season? Order a flex plan today. Starting at just five games, choose the games and seat location to witness the Saints fight for a sixth Clark Cup. Plans start at $9 per ticket. Visit DubuqueFightingSaints.com. You feel that energy? That's the 563 Nation with the Dubuque Fighting Saints, and it's time you get in on the action with 2024 25 season tickets on sale now. Join the 563 Nation to unlock a world of benefits. Learn more at the Fighting Saints website now. 
Windstar Lines is a family-owned and operated local Dubuque charter bus company that has been serving customers nationwide since 1995. With eight Midwestern hubs and a varied fleet, including minibuses, motor coaches, sleeper buses, and vans, we are able to accommodate any group, large or small, to any destination near or far. With over 20 years in the travel and tourism industry, our reputation for superior safety, impeccable equipment, and unparalleled customer service makes us the right choice for your group's transportation needs. Now hiring full and part-time drivers. Go Windstar. Progressive Processing, a Hormel Foods company, is hiring great people across all shifts with new starting wages of $20.60 per hour to $25 per hour with the potential to earn up to $27 per hour. The team at Progressive Processing takes pride in producing popular and trusted Hormel Foods products that are sold in grocery stores across the country. They provide industry-leading benefits, a culture of engagement, and a variety of schedule options. See their openings and find your perfect job today at ProgressiveProcessingJobs.com. Back inside, I'm on Arena as we get set for the second period of action between the Fighting Saints and the Youngstown Phantoms. Game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals. We welcome Jim Leitner to the booth for this second period. The first period, kind of a, a bit of a back and forth and, and nothing really big doing for either team. The Saints had the best chances, but couldn't convert. Each team 0 for 1 on the power play as they try to get the tone set here in this series. Jim, it's, it's a rivalry. It's a playoff series. What is a playoff series come down to like this? Oh, there you First go. of all, you have to turn your mic on. <laughs> First of all, I think there is a feeling out process. You know, the Phantoms are a little probably more used to it because they played a three-game series earlier in the week. Fighting Saints starting to get a feel for it, but Again, I think if the Fighting Saints get back to play in the way they've been pretty much all season long, they're going to be fine. It's just a matter of maybe getting those butterflies out of their system and, you know, playing their style and, and taking advantage of, of everything that Youngstown gives them. Shots 11-11 in the first as the teams take the ice for the second period of play tonight. The Saints will head right to left in period number two. The Phantoms will have to right. The Saints in their white sweaters. The Phantoms in all black. With a gray accent, the Saints looking to score first. They had the best offense in the Eastern Conference all season long. Almost four and a half goals a game, the Saints scored. Nothing doing in the first for either side, and we are ready for the second period. Here in the butte, Sandriel and Ronaldo to get things going in period number two. Reader and Burchill getting a talking to from the referee, and he's ready to drop the puck. Sandriel and Ranola to start off this second period. Pucks down. Saints win backwards, but Noah Powell couldn't hold on to it. So Strathman takes back into his own end to the left. Youngstown, 10 seconds into the second, scoreless, tips into the Saints' end, and it is picked up on the boards the saints able to force the center powell left wing muscles ahead I, they call a hand pass on the saints i thought noah played that puck ahead to himself but the saints called for the hand pass 19 seconds in to this second period scoreless so far face off will come back in the saints end finding zane seemed like they had a good week in practice uh very spirited as usual and you know, that makes a difference with this group. They're so competitive. They want to you know, they want to win everything they do in practice, and that really carries over to the weekends. Saints in their own zone. Sandriol against Burchill. It's won by the Saints. Picked up by Fisher. Scott is outlet. Tipped, almost intercepted by Ronaldo all alone in front, but it did sneak to the wing. Saints right to left. They tip it inside of the net. Reader forces it free in behind. Shields the puck in the corner. Turns back. Feeds to Sandra all left wing. Oh, backhand toward the front. It was blocked, and a penalty is coming up. A high stick spotted. And it's going to be Strathman, the captain for Youngstown, headed to the box. The Saints, early in the second, just 35 seconds in, are going to get their second power play of the night. High sticking, a minor against Strathman, and it's the second Chick-fil-A power play of the night. The Saints power play so good all season. Such a difference maker in the USHL regular season. And it's going to 
make a contribution one way or another here in the playoffs? Uh, no question about it. The Fighting Saints, top hundred power play unit in the USHL all season long. And, you know, they've done uh, a great job of scoring in key moments, too. That's, you know, it's not just that they're putting up big numbers. They're doing it in key moments as well. Sandrell is going to start things off for the Saints. Near circle to the left. He wins cleanly. Buys it and walks the line. Left wing feet. Peck our cheek down low. And Reader cycles to the top to set the Saints up. 45 seconds into the second. Scoreless. Saints on their second power play of the night. Buys it in to the center point. Swings to the left. Peck our cheek looks through the seam. It was intercepted by Smith. Again, you have to watch out for this Youngstown penalty kill. Ten shorties this year to lead the USHL. Buys it and steps into Serato to shield that shorthanded chance and start the Saints back ahead. A minute into the second, no score. Peck our cheek. Rumbles into the offensive zone. Backdoor feed. Reader was cutting in. Couldn't get the shot on with 90 to go on the power play. Smith picks up and backhands in. Wide of Radler. In back for Bisonin. Starting ahead. Shielding the puck and then dropping in his own end for Peck our cheek. 115 on the power play. Reader on the right wing. Bobbled. Couldn't dump it in. And it's swatted back down. Nothing really doing so far on this power play for the Saints. 90 seconds into the second. No score. Halfway through the power play, Saints are going to change up units as they move up the ice. Right to left, Paulson into the zone. Weaves in on the left side. He holds on, drops it to the wall for Cornfort. Up top, Sheamus. Back to Gavin on the left wing. Top of the circle, up top. Sheamus, one-timer. It was blocked and goes wide. Cornforth in back. Fists it across ice. Right wing, Paulson knocks it back in deep. Hendrickson cycles back up to the half wall. Right wing, Paulson to the point. Sheamus, left wing feed for Cornforth. Up top, Sheamus, the blast. It sticked away by right again. Back up top, Saints hold in 30 on the power play. Sheamus to the right wing. Paulson head up, back to the point for Sheamus. Left side, the blast by Cornforth on the one-timer. That was blocked by Machu, and it's cleared by Youngstown. Burchill racing down. Radler out of the net to play it to the corner, and Paulson will start back ahead. 15 to go on the power play. 220 into the second. No score. Paulson flies into the zone. Drops back to Cornforth. Left point. He'll skate top of the circle. Holding on there to the point for Sheamus. Looking from the blue line. He'll go to the left wing. Has it back from Cornforth. Right wing feed for Paulson. To the side of the net. Tipped wide by Hendrickson. Chopped out. And it's Strathman out of the box. He's on a breakaway. Powell racing back. Sheamus shields it. The shot. They score. It goes over Raylor's shoulder and Strathman right out of the box. Strikes first for Youngstown. 241 into the second, and it's one nothing Phantoms. Well, that's one thing you have to worry about with the, with the Phantoms. They're a team that they're kind of a jailbreak kind of penalty kill. If if they, if they get an opportunity to go the other way, they're going to go and uh, just couldn't have better timing really for Strathman coming out of the box. They they centered it up there. They had manned up the uh, the left wing, and he's in all alone on a breakaway. Powell, uh, Sheamus Powell did a nice job getting back and trying to trying to disrupt him, but Strathman made the play and one nothing Phantoms. So Youngstown lands the first punch in this series. The Saints, they've been resilient all year. They'll have to bounce back. Serato and the Saints end right off the draw. He'll go on the right wing, and he tries to leap back to Osborne. It was blocked and then tipped up and out of play behind the Saints net. 3-0-1 into this second period, and it's a 1-0 Phantoms lead with Strathman converting right out of the box. The puck bounced to him, and he sprung forward on a breakaway. Strathman from Jack Wilson. The scoring there. Saints now 0 for 2 on the power play. Merrill in his own zone against Serato to take a draw. Saints win. Juvenville ahead quickly. Franks to center and Romeo will steamroll in. He'll chip it in and knife his way in deep. Catching up to it behind the net. Backhands toward the back door and Frank streaking in. Couldn't grab the puck. Saints work it back free though. Merrill chops it in behind. Wilson up the wall. Jubinville in from the point. Sweeps down the boards. Couldn't get it in deep. Osborne picks up left to right. Just about three and a half in to the second. It's one nothing. Phantoms, an early goal in this period by Andrew Strathman. Dumped in Saints and Raylor leaves it there for Merrill, who starts forward for the Saints. Left wing feed tipped in by Romeo. Saints will change lines as Wilson goes back for it. 340 into the second. Picked up by Youngstown left wing. Smith far boards into the Saints end. The shot in front sticked up and out behind the net by Kevin Raylor. 346 into the second. One nothing Youngstown. Saints 
back in their own zone for a faceoff. We'll see how much momentum Youngstown can get from that power, or that short, or not a shorthand goal, but the scoring right after killing off that penalty. A lot of times you just kill a penalty, you get a lot of momentum, but you can score if you score immediately after it, it gives you that much more of a shot in the arm. Charlie Aaron in his own end against Smith to take a face off. Saints trying to bounce back after giving up the first goal of this contest. Game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Cornforth and Barron out with Charlie Aaron. St. Louis and Caleb Dick, the defenseman for the Saints, and they push the puck ahead. Barron picks up. He'll skate the center, chips in and chases as he avoids a check into the corner. He's stripped by Veronin, who goes up the wall, flagged down by Aaron. He'll spin it in below the goal line. Barron couldn't quite get there. It was tipped away from him to Haro. Out towards center. Left to right. Veronin weaves to the red line and comes in the right wing. Saints in. Smith chips it in back. It goes around and Caleb Dick there for the Saints. Takes a hit but has Charlie Aaron to start the Saints forward. Horn fourth gains the red line. Up the wing. Barron tips it in. Saints will chase. 420 in to the second. It's one nothing Youngstown. Puck pops all the way back down and Dick back for it for the Saints. Quickly ahead. Barron tips in center. Corn fourth right there. Right wing. Jets into the zone, lost it, and then it popped the center. Barron dumped right back in. Saints will get off for a change as Machu will hold on in his own end to the left. 15 20 to go in this second period. 1 0 Youngstown, game one of this best of five. Puck trickles into the Saints end, picked up by Sandro. He's able to fork it to center. Saints were battling a bouncer there. It is dumped right back in. Kalen Dick checked into the corner. He's able to push it to the wall, but he lost it. Jardine back down the boards, loose in the corner. Saints fine, buys it in ahead, and it does just sneak out to center past Pittner, who goes back for it. Past five minutes in to the second. one nothing Youngstown. Left to right, Pittner into the Saints end. Picked up by Dick across for Bison in. He'll hold on and then chip it forward to center. Saints can't catch up to it. Young back into the Saints end on the right wing. Near boards, holds on, turns back top of the circle. His pass down low, picked off by Reeder. He plays it to the wall. Saints can't get out with a pass backward. Tipped off Jardine's stick and back to center. 14 and a half to go in the second. It's one nothing Youngstown. Noah Powell almost forcing into the offensive zone. Sandra picks up and twirls it ahead for Reader. Chasing in with Strathman. Puck free for Noah in the corner. He's up and it will be a penalty. And Pittner touches up. The Saints give one up just after their last power play chance. They're 0 for 2 tonight, but they're headed back to the power play when we come back. one nothing Youngstown early in the second. Finning, finning, finning. Fighting Saints playoff tickets you are on sale. You can get them for tomorrow's game right now. Go to DubuqueFightingSaints.com. Then for game three and potentially game four, watch parties here at I'm on Arena. As the Saints head to their third Chick-fil-A power play of the night. 14-11 to go in the second. one nothing Phantom. Pittner is off for tripping. The Saints start with Noah Powell's group on this power play. He drew the penalty. He gets to start off this chance. He'll take the draw against Serato. Right wing circle. Youngstown into the left. Saints win it. Sheamus on the point. This unit generated some good chances on the last try. Up to the center point for Sheamus. Right wing feed. It's Paulson up top. Sheamus center point. Left side for Cornfort. Looking head up to the point. The blast ripped wide by Sheamus. Off the end wall. Cornfort back up top. 15 into the power play. Saints down 1 nothing early in the second. Hendrickson, side of the net, far wing, is passed to the point out of Sheamus' reach. Goes back down into the Saints end. Raidler leaves it at the circles for Sheamus. 90 to go on this power play. 13 40 in the second period. Game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Paulson right to left, rips into the zone, left wing feed, corn fourth on the half wall. Works up top, shifts back down low. Top of the circle, he'll leave it to the point. Sheamus has the pass in his skates. He gathers, swings right side. Paulson, top of the circle, to the side of the net for Hendrickson. Looks in front, turned on by power, went just wide. Cornforth couldn't handle, but Sheamus at the point has it back. Halfway through the power play. 
13 and a quarter left in the second. one nothing Youngstown. Top of the left circle. Going forth up top. Sheamus tries to blast. He couldn't connect on it. And he's forced back out to center. 50 to go on the power play. Cornforth right back in. Left wing. Looks across ice. Skates down low for Noah. He tries to backhand in front. It was blocked by a Youngstown player who was sliding down Wilson. The Saints forced back to the point. Bides in and in from the bench. Works across the blue line. Swings to the side of the net. Paul Powell out in front looking for Hendrickson. It was blocked. Powell has it back. Noah with 30 on the power play. To the right side. Pulse and rips. And it went off the glass and out to center. Missed it just wide. Back all the way down the ice. Raidler will settle. Bides it in back for it. The Saints will get the other unit on with 20 left on the power play. 12-28 in the second. 1-0 Youngstown. Right wing feed Sandra Alderita. All the way in deep. Plays back up the wall for Pekarchik on the left wing. He'll crank it right back to Reeder in the corner. Working up toward the top. Reeder, high slot. He'll snap. It was punched away by Wright. The Saints have to be careful, man. Getting out of the box right now. Patilla toward center. The Saints drop back, but it is Pittner tipping for Serato. Blocked by Visenin. And the Saints start ahead. 12 minutes to go in the second. Saints 0 for 3 on the power play. They move back into the offensive zone. Pekar Cheek working across ice. Had that blocked. And it swings to center for Serato. Across the Saints line. Two players collide. They cancel each other out. And Peck our cheek ahead for Sandriel. Tips toward Reeder. It was blocked by Hanrahan. Reeder trying to muscle it back down low. Picked off by Young St. Louis. The big body will rumble to center into the Saints end. He's checked. The puck loose to the right wing and he'll hammer it all the way around the boards. Hanrahan picks up on the left point. one nothing Young Sound. The shot in front tipped on Raylor. He makes the save. Rebound to the side of the net. St. Louis chips it up the boards. It hits Strathman and Reeder will pick it up. He'll skate it out to center and then ahead. Banked in past Pittner, which cancels the icing. 11.15 to go in the second. one nothing Youngstown. Saints now 0 for 3 on the power play. Merrill stands up to Pittner at the Saints blue line, and Dubuque will pick up the puck. Malbo will backhand towards center. Loose puck. Giuliani carries into the offensive zone. Right circle is shot wide of right. It bounces back up to the near point. Frank settles in the neutral zone, and he'll drop it back toward Malba back into the zone. Merrill right wing with a ton of space. Top of the circle. His rip block. He has it back on the rebound. Chops it toward the front. Giuliani swatting away. Saved by right. The Saints try to go to work down low. Forcing it to the corner. Pops free. Giuliani on the circle. Swings it in front. One timer. Merrill stoned by right. Rebound side of the net. And right makes the second stop. What a chance by the Saints fourth line. And right makes his best two saves of the night. 10.36 to go in the second. The Saints down one nothing, but a really great chance there from the fourth line. Well, it's great to see the fourth line really playing well tonight. I mean, that's I think that's going to be a key in this series. You got a team in Youngstown that just played three games in three days earlier in this week. And if you can roll four lines and be effective with all four lines, you know, hopefully that wears down the Phantoms and gives you, you know, a chance to uh, get this game all knotted up. Well, this trio is going to stay out there for the offensive zone faceoff. 10.36 left in the second. It's one nothing, Youngstown. Merrill, Frank, and Giuliani, they win the draw. Giuliani the point. Scott and Bison in there for the Saints. Giuliani, quick shot, kicked down, right pad saved by right, and it's picked off to center. It's actually Malbuff and Fisher Scott on the back end. Saints in their own zone. Malbuff check the puck up the wall. Malbuff ripped down by Yenchko, and the puck trickles into the corner. Scott there for the Saints, trying to shift up, turned over. Burchill rips it over the bar, and the Saints able to tip at the center, racing ahead. Frank forces Machu to backhand forward. It bounces through, and Ronaldo will dump into the Saints end. Halfway through regulation time here in game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals, the Saints down 1 0 in this contest. Puck turned over the front of the net after Frank was spilled. Scott picks up, and he'll slide it up the wall for the Saints. Corn forth to center. Down 1 0. Right to left into the zone. He dumps in. He'll chase after it. Saints completing a change to get Aaron and Barron out there with Corn forth. He falls down in the corner, knocks it up the wall but Aaron was cutting into the corner to try and help him so the pass went by him up the boards out to center. Dubinville forward Aaron bobbles it goes to center and then it spun right back in on Raylor. He'll stick it to the corner. Nine and a half to go in the first, in the second period Saints down one nothing. Right to left they try to move to center. It's forced free by Youngstown and kept in at the Saints line. Wrapped around the boards. Veronin on the right wing. Holds on at the point. He'll shuffle down the boards. 
It's Patilla turning toward the front. It bounds off Powell's skate, and it's kept in by Smith. Holding on, right circle, across ice. The shot saved by Raylor. He challenged Osborne right at the top of his crease, and he makes the stop. Osborne had the puck bounce to him right at the circle, and Raylor makes a huge stop to keep the Saints within one. 9 one to go in the second. one nothing Youngstown. Winning with Finnin, and you're always treated like a superstar. You're winning with Finnin, we take pride in customer loyalty. We're leaders in the community, so come on down and you will see. Finnin, you're winning with Finnin, Finnin. Foundation. Tonight's broadcast on Eagle 1023 is presented by Michelin. In Piasta. Saints down one nothing, 9 0 1 to go in the second, and Kevin Rayler with a big stop right before the break. Uh, he's made a couple of really big saves, too, to keep this game just a one goal deficit for the Fighting Saints. And, you know, that's what you expect out of a big time goaltender, and he's been a big time goaltender all season long. Face off to Raylers right. 9 0 1 to go in the second period, 1 0 Youngstown. Sandriel out to take the draw. It's pumped to the corner wall, cycled up top by Veronin, but Noah Powell intercepts. 43 goals in the regular season for Noah Powell. He was held up. It's going to be a penalty on Youngstown. Reeder picks up. He'll skate out to center. Radler is headed to the bench for the extra skater. Reeder will take it all the way back in his own end before the Saints start their fourth power play of the night. They have some extra time here on the delayed call. Right to left. Dick slices into the zone. He was checked and lost the puck. So the Saints will head to the power play with 8.34 left in the second. The Chick-fil-A power play 0 for 3 tonight. one nothing Youngstown, and the Saints get another chance with a holding call against Kuzma Veronin. And at some point, Jim, the Saints are going to have to take advantage of this. They are, for sure. And, and you know, this, this power play has been good all year, and they don't really go too long without converting. And, you know, on that play, what a great play by Noah Powell. You know, he, that's a, just a sign of his strength and his, you know, his reach that he can draw these penalties. And, you know, you're really not, you're not going to overpower him anywhere on the ice. And, you know, it speaks to his ability that he can, and even if, if he's not scoring goals, he can draw penalties like this and set your team up on the power play. I don't think anybody would argue with you if you said Noah Powell is the strongest player on this team. Saints can't win the draw, but buys it and keeps it at the point. Eight and a half to go in the second. Saints down one nothing on the power play. Puck tipped around, back to the circle. Peck our cheek swings up top. Bison in right side. St. Louis stumbles, but feeds back up high. Bison in left side for Peck our cheek side of the net. Reader falls down. He is able to just reach the puck and knock it back up for Peck our cheek. Holding on near hash marks. Back up top. Bison in from the point. Left wing. Sandra, I'll try the shot. It was blocked. He has it back high slot. Right side for St. Louis. He'll go across sex. Peck our cheek settles off the wall. 30 into the power play. Saint down one nothing with eight to go in the second. Their fourth power play of the night. St. Louis pass up top, hopped over Peckard cheek stick and out to center. One fifteen left on this chance. Right to left, Bison in at the red line. Right wing for Reader into the zone, slides across ice. It hits Sandra on the skate, and then St. Louis bobbled has to take it out to center. Bison in back ahead, out of the reach of a teammate. Youngstown will pick up Pittner all the way out to center past Burchill and all the way into the Saints end as they start to change units. The Saints can't pick up the puck though. Patilla in the Saints end pins it to the wall. Two Saints work it free below the goal line. Cornforth will skate forward. 45 left on the fourth power play the night for the Saints. They're down one nothing. Cornforth into the zone. His pass intercepted and chipped out to center. 35 to go on this power play. 7.08 left in the second. one nothing Youngstown. Hendrickson Cross ice, right wing, kick forward by Noah into the zone. Holds on to the right circle. In the corner, he'll rip it around back up the left side for Cornforth, holding on on the half wall. Up top, Sheamus, back to the left wing. Gavin holds on on the circles, up high. Sheamus tips to the right wing for Paulson. Holding on there, side of the net. Hendrickson tries to tip it in front for Noah. It was tipped away from him, and then Paulson's shot blocked up out of play. Just 11 to go on the power play. 6.44 in the second. one nothing Youngstown, the Saints power play. Uh, we all we said it's going to be a factor in this series, right? And it's staring at 0 for 4 so far in this game. 
Uh, and Youngstown did a nice job against the Dubuque power play during the regular season. I think the Saints were only like three for 20 against the power play in the regular season. So they've got a little bit figured out when it comes to stopping the Fighting Saints power play. Powell will take the draw with 11 to go on this power play chance. 6.44 to go in the second. Saints down one nothing. Game one. Best of five Eastern Conference semifinals. Saints can't win the draw. It's turned to the corner wall, and the Saints battle it free. Hendricks in low to high. Sheamus from the point across ice. Buys it in the one timer and stick shattered on him, and the Saints have to swing it back to the corner. Back to full strength for Youngstown. Saints 0 for 4 on the power play. Pass to the point, blocked. And then Scott's pass back ahead, blocked again. He'll shield it back to his own end, though. And Botterill right on him. Saints behind their own net. They turn it over in front. Lewis all alone in the slot. Paulson steps up to him, works it free, and Noah will outlet towards center. Tipped in the neutral zone, picked up by Youngstown. Then they turn it over. Paulson into the zone, looking into the left side. The shot, he rings it off iron. Back to the point. Fisher Scott across ice. Eric Paulson left wing toward the top. It was tipped away and cleared by Youngstown. Six to go in the second. Saints 0 for 4 on the power play. Down 1 0 in game one. Noah Powell on the right wing. He couldn't get it in deep. Ronaldo picks up. He'll shift in deep to the Saints end. In behind the Dubuque net. The Saints shield it and will carry forward to center ice. Right to left. Noah into the zone. Swings towards Sheamus in the corner. He tips it free back to the circles, but Youngstown intercepts. They'll bank to center. Malbuff there for the Saints. Five and a half to go in this second period. It's one nothing Youngstown. The Saints chop it towards center and then regain control at their own blue line. Shots 15 apiece. The Saints though 0 for 4 on the power play. They charge it in deep. Fourth line out. Romeo, Frank, and Merrill. Virgil picks up, and it's stopped at the point by Jubinville, but then taken out to center. The Saints will settle in the neutral zone. 5.05 to go in the second. Saints down one nothing. Strathman in behind his own net on the pass from right, almost out of his reach. Romeo forced Strathman back. He's able to chip it to center. Saints pick it up, bump it into the offensive zone. And neither Saint in there could corral it, and it's picked up. Virgil, right wing, dumps in Saints end. All the way around back. There were shots were 11 apiece in the first. There's only been four apiece in this second with 4.35 to go. Youngstown picks up Saints end to the right. Shot off a of body, goes to the corner. Rusinski trying to twirl out of traffic, cuts toward the front. Malbuff knocks it to the wall, then chops it forward. It hits the referee. Frank is dumped, and the puck picked up by DeHaro on the point. Machu, he'll swing it to the center. DeHaro shot blocked by Merrill. Puck bounces right wing. The shot on goal, sticked away by Raybler. 4 12 left in this second period. Saints down 1 0. Malbuff up the wall. Frank able to move it to center. He's out of the reach. He's ripped down. Down, and that's not called. That is a call the Saints are going to want to get, and Youngstown goes back the other way, offside. And that is called with 3.58 to go in the second. one nothing Youngstown. As Frank was knocked away from the puck there, the Saints already with four power plays in this game and haven't been able to convert here with 3.58 to go in the second. You can get away with a little bit of interference, a little bit of, uh, you know, just a little bit of a holding, but they pretty much twisted him down. So that's one of those ones that it's almost an automatic call when you get it. But uh, like you said, the has already had four power plays and they weren't going to call a fifth in that, in that situation. So Fighting Saints have to play on and, and fight through that kind of stuff. Well, it seems like that may have gotten the crowd into it a little bit. Neutral zone draw with 3.58 to go in the second. It's one nothing Youngstown. Barron takes, he wins, and Caleb Dick will launch it into the offensive end of the left. Saints chase after it. Cornforth lays a hit on the wall. The puck hops to the top of the zone. Saints keep in. St. Louis chips it in back. Wilson there for Youngstown. will bank it up the wall. It goes out to center. Veronin checked by Giuliani, and the Saints will pick up in center. It bounces around, picked up Veronin into the Saints end, and then Patilla will rip it wide of the post. It bounces off the corner wall and back up top. Push back to the right wing boards. Patilla shot blocked. Goes to Osborne. High slot all alone. The shot. Save. Bouncing around. Lands on top of the net. And the whistle blows. That puck was 
moving very slowly through the air. It hopped up over Radler, and it looked like it might bounce in behind him, but it lands on top of the net, and the whistle comes with 3.22 to play in the second. one nothing, Youngstown, the faceoff to stay in the Saints' end. And Kevin uh, put his big mitt on top of it to freeze the puck. Not usually the way you see him freeze the puck. Usually it's along the ice, but uh, he got the whistle and, you know, start over. Saints 0 for 4 on the power play tonight. 3.22 left in the second. A 1-0 Phantoms lead in game one. Serato against Sandrial. Saints end to the right on the far circle. It's dropped and tied up. One by Youngstown. Pittner at the point down the wall and... Scott intercepts for the Saints. Tries to bank it forward. Saints can't get out. Scott has another chance on the wall, and this time he goes up high. It bounces to Reeder, but he couldn't corral the bouncer, and it goes back for Youngstown to start forward. Sandrial forces it free. Reeder back into the offensive zone. Right wing, far side. is shot up high. Glove by right. 3-0-1 left in the second. one nothing Youngstown. Sandrial got that puck free in center, and it goes into the offensive zone for Reeder to take a shot. And the Saints will get an offensive zone draw. Nice recovery by Youngstown. They really, Reader really didn't have any good options, good passing options. And you know, he almost had to take the shot there to have at least a, some sort of scoring opportunity. But again, Youngstown, I thought, did a nice job of getting back and, and covering and not, uh, not allowing a lot of bad rush. Saints keep the same line out. It's Powell, Reader, and Sandri all up front. Bison in and Fisher Scott at the point. 3-0-1 to go in the second. Saints down 1-0 in game one of the Eastern Conference semis. Sandra to take the face off against Serato. Actually, Noah Powell taking the draw. Sandra stationed on the right wing. Far circle. Youngstown end of the left. Powell and Serato. Face off one by Noah to the point. Bison in quickly across ice. Scott shifts down the left wing. Bottom of the circle looking in front. He's checked by DeHaro. Fish able to knock it in behind. Serato intercepts up the wall, but Bison in will play it back down low. Loose on the half wall. Sandrio down low. It hit a body and bounces back ahead. Left to right, Lewis toward the Saints end. Tipped in deep. 2.38 to play in the second. Bison and checked off the puck. It comes up the wall to Haro in from the point. The shot blocked in front. Rebound blocked again by Scott, who knelt to the ground. Saints pick up. Noah shuffles and backhands in deep to the offensive end. Reader will chase as the Saints change lines. 2.20 to play in the second. one nothing Youngstown. Goal early in this period by Andrew Strathman. Saints pick up on the dump in from their own zone. Start forward right to left. Outletting. Sheamus toward Reader, cross ice, Paulson into the zone, ripping in with speed, looking in front, Hendrickson was on the back door, Paulson goes all the way around, tries the shot, it was blocked, he has it back in the slot, it's ripped, blocked by Ronaldo. Yenchka swats it forward, out to center, Sheamus back for it, and he'll swing it back ahead, Cubanville ahead for Hendrickson, left wing feet, Peckard cheek rumbles in, drops back toward Paulson, it was tipped away from him, on the wall, he's tied up, Burchill stripped by Hendrickson, Saints go down low, Peckard cheek slicing in behind the net, holds on, feeds toward the front, it was blocked, has it back in the corner, tied up, pops up the wall, Peckard cheek able to hold it briefly, but then it's chipped to center, 135 to play in the second period, it's one nothing Youngstown, game one of the Eastern Conference semi, Saints all the way back in their own end, right to left, Towards center, Hendrickson across ice. Peckard Cheek leaves toward Cornforth at the circle. He was checked, couldn't hang on. Rusinski to center, 115. He speeds into the Saints end. Right wing, shot blocked by Malbuff. All the way back in and behind. Rusinski picks up, feeds toward the front. Saints swatted away. Hendrickson starts forward to center. 105 left in the second. one nothing. Youngstown into the zone. Cornforth left wing, couldn't get the shot away. It was blocked and picked up by Pittner. Left to right, Saints intercept that in the neutral zone. Merrill will charge it back in deep. Merrill out with Frank and Cornforth. Frank forces it free behind the net. Skates into the near corner, 45 in the period. Low to high, St. Louis off the wall. Toward the point, right side, Malba up, up high the wrister. It's gloved by right. He holds on with 43.1 left in this second period. one nothing Youngstown. The Saints have threatened in the last couple minutes. But nothing doing so far against Aiden Wright, who has 16 saves on 16 Saints shots. And I think the, the defense in front of him is doing a nice job in letting him see the puck. And that's a big key for Wright. Any any big goaltender, they're going to be able to stop it if you if they can see it all the way in. And 
he's had a lot of them where he's, you know, he's real confident and real sure where the puck is, and he looks it right into his big mitt. So uh, Fighting Saints will have to do a little bit better job of getting traffic in front and going for some tips and some uh, ugly rebounds. Sandriol, Powell, and Reeder right back out there. St. Louis and Malbuff on the blue line. Right wing circle. Saints try to push the draw forward, and it goes in on goal. Right covers up immediately. Not much time goes off the clock. 39.7 left, and some pushing and shoving after the cover up from right there. Nothing really doing. Seams will set back up on the right circle for another faceoff. 39.7 to go in the second. Saints 0 for 4 on the power play tonight. That really is the difference so far. 1 0 Youngstown. Noah Powell taking the draw right circle against Serato. Saints tie it up. It's loose to the wall. Picked up by Jahara. He'll skate to center for Youngstown. Cross ice. Lewis tips it in. Saints in. He goes on the right wing. Feeds in front. Bounds off a body toward the corner. Saints fine. 25 in the period. Reader up the wall. It was intercepted. Back in below the goal line. St. Louis picks up for the Saints. Knocks it up the boards. Noah trying to backhand out to center. He turned it over. Serato leaves to the point. Machu the shot. He ripped it just wide under Raylor's blocker. Back up top. Serato pumps it back down low. And it's swatted ahead by Reader with eight seconds left out to the center. Tahara will skate all the way back in his own end and run out the second period clock with one second left, holding on behind his own net. And the horn sounds on period number two. The Saints give one up just after a power play ends. They're 0 for 4 on the power play tonight after 40 minutes. And they trail 1-0 heading into the third period. A big 20 minutes coming up, Jim. Saints... Really just struggling to get really good chances created so far tonight. They have, and, you know, I think uh, part of that is Youngstown's done a nice job defending. You know, they really haven't allowed a lot of a lot of open looks. They've taken away those second-chance opportunities. And when you can do that, you're going to put yourself in a position to win. And, and you know, they just got they caught a real fortunate break on their penalty kill. You know, cleared the zone. Strathman's in all alone on a breakaway, and he scores. And... You know, that's the difference in this hockey game. But you know, other, other than that, it's been a pretty tightly contested game. There's a fighting Saints just have to find that equalizer at some point here early in the third. Well, a crucial third period coming up. Game one of the Eastern Conference semi. Saints down one nothing after 40. We'll talk to Kevin Raylor in the, in, the, in the intermission, and we'll get you all set for the third period tonight in debut. Saints and Phantoms, Youngstown on top. One nothing after 40. Hey, I'm Jackie. And a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit is the chicken. It is golden brown, so juicy, so delicious. It's the perfect savory start to my day. Start your day with the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit available on the Chick-fil-A app. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonial. It's playoff season to view. The hunt for a six part cup is on for your fighting Saints. The Saints have had 13 consecutive playoff berths. And they again sit at the top of the Eastern Conference leaderboard, which means the East runs through our house and gives the Saints home ice advantage. Join the Saints as they look to defend Dubuque and earn their sixth Clark Cup championship. Check out the Saints playoff schedule online and get tickets at DubuqueFightingSaints.com or by calling the Saints office. Halos high and ring those cowbells. It's playoff season with your Dubuque Fighting Saints. Wright Height in Dubuque has seen tremendous growth and in order to keep up with demands, they are now hiring. Wright Height manufactures safety and industrial products to support companies that provide essential everyday products and foods. If you're looking for a career change, don't miss out on a great opportunity. Right Height offers great benefits, including paid holidays, personal and vacation time, competitive pay, tuition reimbursement, and advancement opportunities within as little as three months. Apply at righthight.com. That's R-I-T-E-H-I-T-E dot com. Right Height is an equal opportunity employer and drug-free work. Hey, I'm the Crawford, Crawford guy. guy. Ooh, do you guys always speak at the same time? Uh, sorry. I'll go first. You know, if you need help with your heating or air conditioning... For plumbing, Crawford Company can solve your problem. But what about your problem? What problem? Do you not hear yourselves? Take it from me, the Crawford lady. And me, the, the Crawford, Crawford guy. guy. Crawford is the comfort company. Visit CrawfordNorth.com. 
Progressive Processing, a Hormel Foods company, is hiring great people across all shifts with new starting wages of $20.60 per hour to $25 per hour with the potential to earn up to $27 per hour. The team at Progressive Processing takes pride in producing popular and trusted Hormel Foods products that are sold in grocery stores across the country. They provide industry-leading benefits, a culture of engagement, and a variety of schedule options. See their openings and find your perfect job today at Progressive Processing jobs.com. Hi, this is Tori. A little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A Cobb salad is the avocado lime dressing. It adds to the chicken, the bacon, and the roasted corn. It takes the salad to a whole nother level. Order the Cobb salad for delivery on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real guests paid for their testimonial. Looking to book a getaway for your family, friends, travel group, or a student class trip? Tri-State Travel handles everything including round trip transportation on one of their very own deluxe motor coaches with our new luxury coach options. In-person consultation, airfare, hotel accommodations, admissions, sporting events, performances, online booking, travel protection insurance, and much more. Call Tri-State Travel at 800-779-4869 or go to tristatetravel.com and start planning today. Know that your travel agency is also rolling up to greet you at your front door. Since Yamaha introduced their first golf car in 1979, Harris Golf Cars has offered friendly sales and service at their family-owned and operated locations in Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. Come see the wide selection of gas and electric golf cars, as well as Yamaha's complete line of products available for your golf, campground, lake home, neighborhood, and farm needs. Harris takes trade-ins of all brands, and their expert technicians are here to repair and maintain your golf cars. Harris Golf Cars, your destination for all golf car needs. In Dubuque by Hobby Lobby or online. The Saints are back. Driven by Finn and Ford and Kia on Eagle 1023. When I found out I had postpartum depression, I realized caring for my son starts with caring for me. Mental health care is working for Samoa. See what it can do for you at mentalhealthcareworks.org. A message from the American Psychiatric Association Foundation. We're joined by Saints goaltender Kevin Raidler as the Saints open up the playoffs this weekend. Kev, been a great regular season. Now that it's time for the playoffs. What is it for you guys as players that's a little bit different this time of year? Uh, obviously, you know, we, it's all about getting those three wins as fast as possible and both teams want it uh, as much. So uh, it's a little bit different. You know, it's uh, going to be a, a lot of will out there and, you know, it's going to cost a lot of uh, emotions. Uh, but that's always fun. So, you know, we, we're super excited to play the games. It, it is an emotional time, and especially in the playoffs. How do you guys make sure that you can stay relaxed and play your game during this postseason? Um, I think it's about, you know, preparing the same way we always did. And, you know, we obviously played pretty well. And, and uh, if we can continue just doing what we've been working on and not think too much about it, you know, that's when we'll play our best hockey. So that's what we're going for. Defensively, the team's been really good all season long as a whole. What do you guys have to do that you've done all season long that will translate into the playoffs? Um, we'll just have to continue trusting each other in the D zone and uh, play for each other. That's the most important part. And as I've said earlier this year, good defense, you know, it gives confidence for the offense. So if we can execute that well, we're going to be good in both ends. All right. Thanks, Kevin. The Saints starting up the playoffs. Windstar Lines is a family-owned and operated local Dubuque charter bus company that has been serving customers nationwide since 1995. With eight Midwestern hubs and a varied fleet, including minibuses, motor coaches, sleeper buses, and vans, we are able to accommodate any group, large or small, to any destination near or far. With over 20 years in the travel and tourism industry, our reputation for superior safety, impeccable equipment, and unparalleled customer service makes us the right choice for your group's transportation needs. Now hiring full and part-time drivers. Go Windstar! Rev up your excitement because Sunday Night Racing is back with a vengeance at the Dubuque County Fairgrounds Speedway. Feel the thrill of the track as we kick off the season opener Sunday, April 28th. Get ready for heart-stopping IMCA dirt track racing on Dubuque's lightning fast 3 8 mile track. It's a battle of speed, skill, and pure adrenaline as drivers push the limits to earn the wave at the checkered flag. Grab your crew and experience the rush of Sunday Night Racing starting April 28th at the Dubuque County Fairgrounds Speedway. Learn more at dbqfairspeedway.com. Hey, it's me, the Crawford guy. Is your water heater not working? Do you have a leaky pipe or faucet? Is there a drain that isn't draining? Crawford to the rescue. Crawford plumbers and drain cleaners are experts at providing real solutions for your real problems. For plumbing installation and repair, make the right call. Crawford Company. Heating, air conditioning, plumbing, and drain cleaning. Visit CrawfordNorth.com. Are you?
you ready to score big in your career? Join the winning team at Michelin in Piasta. Michelin is hiring and looking for talented individuals to join their squad. Don't miss your shot at great benefits, advancement opportunities, and a team that feels like family. Positions starting at over $20 an hour and benefits on day one. Take the shot and score your dream job at Michelin and Piasta today. Visit jobs.michelinman.com and join Michelin in Piasta, helping you reach your goals and driving your career forward. Windstar Lines is a family-owned and operated local Dubuque charter bus company that has been serving customers nationwide since 1995. With eight Midwestern hubs and a varied fleet, including minibuses, motor coaches, sleeper buses, and vans, we are able to accommodate any group, large or small, to any destination near or far. With over 20 years in the travel and tourism industry, our reputation for superior safety, impeccable equipment, and unparalleled customer service makes us the right choice for your group's transportation needs. Now hiring full and part-time drivers. Go Windstar. Hey there, job seekers. Are you ready to break away from the competition and join a team that wants you to reach your goals and drive your career forward? Michelin and Piasta is recruiting top talent to join their roster, and they want you to apply. Whether you're new to the job market or a seasoned pro, Michelin offers a winning playbook with various positions starting over $20 per hour and benefits on day one. Don't sit in the penalty box of missed opportunities. Score big with Michelin in Piasta. Visit jobs.michelinman.com. Hey y'all, my name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory, then you add the spices, instant classic. Order the Spicy Chicken Biscuit on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real Chick-fil-A guests pay for their testimonials. Some people just know the best rate for you is a rate based on you with Allstate, not one based on Carol. She's more focused on hitting a high note than the car in front of her. Why pay a rate based on anyone else? Get one based on you with DriveWise from Allstate. Not available in Alaska or California, subject to terms and conditions. Rates are determined by several factors, which vary by state. In some states, participation in DriveWise allows Allstate to use your driving data for purposes of rating. While in some states, your rate could increase with high-risk driving. Generally, safer drivers will save with DriveWise. Allstate Fire and Casualty Insurance Company and affiliates Northbrook, Illinois. Ask Sherwin-Williams during the four-day super sale, April 19th through the 22nd, and get 40% off paints and stains with prices starting at $26.69. That means 40% off our most popular color family, blue. Psychologists have found it to be soothing and relaxing, which makes it especially great for bedrooms and baths. Bathrooms. And of course, get 40% off all of our other colors. Shop the sale online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin Williams store. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Beaming from the PK Diesel Eagle's Nest from KXGE Dubuque, this is the Tri State Classic Rock Station and home to your Dubuque Fighting Saints. Eagle 1023, a Town Square Media Station. Fighting Saints down one nothing after 40 minutes tonight against the Youngstown Phantoms. Saints 0 for 4 on the power play. That's the big story of this game so far. Raylor 17 saves on 18 shots. Aiden Wright 16 for 16. The only goal 241 into the second. Andrew Strathman from Jack Wilson around the league. Fargo takes game one over Tri City 3 to 1. That was in Fargo, Sioux City taking a 2-0 series lead over Lincoln with a 3-1 win tonight. Green Bay sneaks by in game one with a 4-3 victory on the road over Muskegon. And then the Saints down 1-0, headed to the third. Saints and Phantoms, the only game left in, EC in, uh, in USHL playoff action so far tonight. We'll have the third period coming up here next. In Dubuque, one nothing Youngstown. Headed to the third right after this. Hey, y'all. My name is Tiara, and a little thing that I love about the Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is that it has the perfect amount of spice to jumpstart my day. Whoever thought of it, thank you so much. Hi, my name is Robert, and a little thing I love about Chick-fil-A Spicy Chicken Biscuit is the biscuit. It reminds me of my grandma's homemade biscuit. It's always buttery and savory. Then you add the spices, instant classic. Order the Spicy Chicken Biscuit on the Chick-fil-A app today. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonials. Hey, I'm, I'm the, the Crawford, Crawford guy. guy. Ooh, do you guys always speak at the same time? Uh, sorry. I'll go first. You know, if you need help with your heating or air conditioning or plumbing, Crawford Company can solve your problem. But what about your problem? What problem? Do you not hear yourselves? Take it from me, the Crawford lady. 
and me, the Crawford guy. Crawford is the comfort company. Visit CrawfordNorth.com. Progressive Processing, a Hormel Foods company, is hiring great people across all shifts with new starting wages of $20.60 per hour to $25 per hour with the potential to earn up to $27 per hour. The team at Progressive Processing takes pride in producing popular and trusted Hormel Foods products that are sold in grocery stores across the country. They provide industry-leading benefits, a culture of engagement, and a variety of schedule options. See their openings and find your perfect job today at ProgressiveProcessingJobs.com. At Great Clips, we want you to feel good about getting a great haircut. That's why we created the Great Care Promise, our commitment to keeping everyone as safe as possible in the salon. From contactless online check-in and social distancing to rigorous sanitization and mask requirements at all Great Clips locations, we're doing more to keep our salons clean and comfortable. Check in online and get a ready next text when you're next. Great Clips, it's going to be great. All salons are independently owned and operated. Contact your local salon for specific safety measures. Since Yamaha introduced their first golf car in 1979, Harris Golf Cars has offered friendly sales and service at their family-owned and operated locations in Iowa, Illinois, Wisconsin, and Nebraska. Come see the wide selection of gas and electric golf cars, as well as Yamaha's complete line of products available for your golf, campground, lake home, neighborhood, and farm needs. Harris takes trade-ins of all brands, and their expert technicians are here to repair and maintain your golf cars. Harris Golf cars your destination for all golf car needs in dubuque by hobby lobby or online let's party at a dubuque fighting saints game book your next group outing with a quick star party corner at a saints game bring up to 20 people to enjoy an exciting night of fun and hockey with an unbeatable view of all the action on the ice in your own reserved seating area quick star party corners started 500 dollars with food and beverage options available party corners are perfect for corporate nights birthdays bachelor bachelorette parties or a friend's night out get together pack the house and cheer on your dubuque fighting saints for more information visit dubuquefightingsaints.com Windstar Lines is a family-owned and operated local Dubuque charter bus company that has been serving customers nationwide since 1995. With eight Midwestern hubs and a varied fleet, including minibuses, motor coaches, sleeper buses, and vans, we are able to accommodate any group, large or small, to any destination near or far. With over 20 years in the travel and tourism industry, our reputation for superior safety, impeccable equipment, and unparalleled customer service makes us the right choice for your group's transportation needs. Now hiring full and part-time drivers. Go Windstar. Hey, I'm Jackie. And a little thing I love about the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit is the chicken. It is golden brown, so juicy, so delicious. It's the perfect savory start to my day. Start your day with the Chick-fil-A chicken biscuit available on the Chick-fil-A app. Real Chick-fil-A guests paid for their testimonial. Don't want to miss any Fighting Saints action this season? Order a Flex Plan today. Starting at just five games, choose the games and seat location to witness the Saints fight for a sixth Clark Cup. Plans start at $9 per ticket. Visit DubuqueFightingSaints.com. After 40 minutes of play, the Saints down one nothing as we get set for the third period of game one of the Eastern Conference semifinals. Josh Starr with Jim Leitner. Jim, really the story of this game is the Saints power play not being able to convert 0 for 4 tonight. If they get chances in the third, what do they have to do differently? Well, I think they've gotten some decent looks. It's just a matter of maybe getting some more traffic in front of right, you know, and taking away his eyes so he can't see it and, you know, maybe getting a backdoor feed and an, an empty net or a wide open net and, and bury that way. But you know, so far, you know, you look at Youngstown, that's a team that played, you know, five games in a matter of six days, and they sure don't look like it. No. And they've had to kill a lot of penalties, too, which takes takes it out of you. And they haven't looked like a tired team yet tonight. The Saints have to find a way. And, and that's really what the playoffs are about, right? I talked to Kurt McDonald before the game. I asked him about the depth. He, he told me last week that the depth can can be such a big factor and the emotions of a playoff series said you have to be able to to bounce back in situations and all the saints a chance to do that here in the third down one nothing yeah you know that you really don't have any other choice you know i mean it's still going to be a long series uh, but it's not a do or die game tonight but still you don't want to you don't want to get off on a bad foot here and relinquish home ice advantage on the first night of the playoffs puts a lot more pressure on you the rest of the way so big third period ahead for the fighting saints hopefully they can take advantage of that that uh, depth and 
and get uh, get this game even. Youngstown in the first round against Madison, all at home, lost the first game. That was a best of three. That's really a yeah. tough one to come back from, and they were able to bounce back and win game two and three. We're set for the third. The Saints down one nothing. Kevin Radler, well, he's been good, but one has gotten by him on 18 shots. The Saints are ready to start the third. They put 16 pucks on eight and right. He stopped every one of them. It's a one nothing. Youngstown lead to start this third period. Game one of a best of five series. The Saints on home ice trying to punch back in the third and take game one. They're down one nothing with 20 minutes left in regulation. Ronaldo and Sandrial, the puck is down on the third. Strathman holds on as Youngstown takes control and tips into the Saints end to the left. Bison in back for it. He'll leave it behind the net for Fisher Scott. Up the far wing. It's out of Reader's reach, but it does move to center and spun ahead for the Saints to grab back in, the, in their own zone. Bison in up the wall. Ronaldo blocks it, and Sandrial stops him. It bounces toward the net. Raidler pushes it to the corner wall. Puck on the far wall. Saints end swatted wide. It bounces around in the corner. The Saints find. 35 seconds in to the third. Down one nothing. Saints left to right to center. Reader, Sandrial, Noah Powell out to start the period. Scott on the blue line. Heals the shot to the wall. He picks it back up right wing and takes it in deep. Then he lost it. It's chipped up. Kept in by Sheamus at the point. His shot hits Sandrial. Goes to the corner wall. Machu up the boards and taken by Youngstown for Yenchko. His pass out to center. Batted down by Sandrial. Sheamus couldn't grab it. He would have been a hand pass, but Youngstown dumps in after Sheamus couldn't pick it up. Sheamus does pick it up in his own end. Out to center. Paulson tips in deep. Youngstown zone. 110 into the third. one nothing. Phantoms. Jubinville intercepts at the blue line. Fires in on goal. And it's gloved by Wright. Jubinville just keeping that outlet pass in from Youngstown. And he got the shot off. The Saints will get an offensive zone draw. 116 into the third. Down one nothing. Wright has been outstanding all game here. With uh, looks like he's got 17 saves tonight. He struggled a little bit in that first period, but or in the first series, but he's been outstanding tonight. Obviously, a shutout going here early in the third. Um, Saints are gonna have to get some traffic in front of him to you know to get this thing turned around. Youngstown, a top five defensive team in the league during the regular season. The Saints win the draw, but it splits the D and goes back to the Saints end to the left. They give up seven in the game one loss to Madison. And then they only gave up six combined the rest of that series to win the last two games. Paulson left to right, stopped at the blue line. The Saints still hold on at the blue and carry in with Hendrickson. Right wing, he'll backhand across ice looking for Peckard Cheek, but it was tipped away from him. Serato holds on. He'll flip it to center. Jubinville right back on it, feeds toward Hendrickson into the zone, peels back, top of the zone. Cuts across toward the high slot, swings toward the right. It was knocked away before it could get to Peckard Cheek. Machu. Banks toward Botterill into the Saints end. Swings in front. One-timer stopped by Raidler. Serrano stone on the rush. Jubinville slid to try and block the pass. He didn't get it. And it went to the back door. Serrano was stopped by Kevin Raidler, who held strong in the blue paint, sliding to his left. The legs opened up, but he was able to hold on. That's a big one from Raidler. Yeah, any, any save like that is going to be huge at this point in the game. You want to keep this game, you know, just a one-goal deficit as long as you can and give your team a chance to get back into it. 159 into the third. The Saints down one nothing. Raidler, perhaps his biggest save of the night right there early in this third on Serato. Saints can't control the draw. Veronin kicks it behind the net and picks up. Bottom of the near circle. Chips it in front. It pops off a stick up in the air, and Raidler gloves it. 208 into the third. He'll hold on there. A one nothing deficit for the Saints early in the third. Yeah, they've done a, Youngstown's done a really nice job of getting in passing lanes and shooting lanes where the Fighting Saints have the puck. I and mean, that's really why they haven't created as many opportunities as they normally do. Saints in their own zone here. Merrill with Giuliani and Cornfort. Saints end of the left near circle. Saints win cleanly with Merrill. Dick will chip it off the glass and it bounces on edge. 
into the Youngstown end. Picked up at the blue line by the Phantoms, and Smith will shovel it all the way into the Saints end. Patilla racing after it far corner. St. Louis checks him to the wall. Merrill picks up the puck, left it in back. No one there for the Saints. The centering feed tipped off a skate and bounces to the wall. Baronin up at the point for Wilson. He'll chip it down the board. Saints pick up at the circles. Two and a half into the third, down one nothing. Saints left to right, Cornforth tips in deep. Saints will chase with Giuliani in behind the net. It pops up the wall, and it is kept in by Barron. He'll wrap it in behind the net all the way to the left wing board. Smith leaves it in back, and Wilson will start ahead for Osborne. Bisonen steps into Baronin, and the Saints force free at center. Giuliani will hammer it in deep. Barron will chase Saints. Completing a change. Baron, Frank, and Romeo out. Baron lays the hit from the angle on the half wall. Scott's shot was sticked away by Wright. And Patilla's outlet blocked by Romeo. Tipped back into the Saints end. Radler at the side of the net. Plays it up the wall on the left wing. And Scott will start for Baron across the ice. Romeo with speed. Right wing. Cutting down the board. Strathman swatted away from him. And then Jardine. A bouncing puck to center. Left wing feed Rusinski. Left wing into the Saints end. Rusinski a hat trick in game three of the Madison series. He goes up to the point. Strathman holding on at the line. He's the goal scorer tonight for Youngstown. Cross ice, Hanrahan. The blast blocked by Scott of the circles, and then he spins it down the ice. It's going to go for icing against the Saints with 3.47 gone in the third. It's a one nothing deficit for the Saints early in this third period. I think you're starting to see some of Youngstown's championship pedigree come out too they were the clark cup champions a year ago and you know they understand what it takes to win long series and you know and get to get through to the next round and they've uh, certainly played like an experienced playoff team tonight they did have the first round bye in last year's playoffs a luxury they didn't have this year the saints with that but down one nothing early in the third almost four minutes play face off scenes end of the left Dubuque wins, but they can't clear. Lewis will spin it down low. Bison in, backhands up the wall to the left wing. Romeo tries to chop the center block by Machu. Romeo's second chance stopped again, but then he picks it up and he'll skate it to the neutral zone. Weaves to the right wing, dumps it in on his backhand, and will chase after it. Machu there, and he'll leave for DeHaro. Saints changing lines, trying to get Sandriel's group out there. Botteril right wing feed. Machu into the zone, but Lewis beat him in on the left wing. And the whistle goes for offside, 4-17 into the third. It's one nothing Youngstown as the Saints get a neutral zone draw to finish off the line chain. Sandriel, Reeder, and Powell out with Sheamus and Jubinville as the defenseman for this neutral zone draw. You know, the Fighting Saints really haven't had a line that's really generated a ton of chances tonight, too. So, uh have to see someone get something going here, get a break, or maybe another power play and get, get that first goal. Paulson back in the first had a really good chance. Couldn't convert. He hit the post in the second. Barron and Aaron also combined for a good chance in the first. Nothing for the Saints. They win the draw in center and rush for Sandriol right wing. Had to force back, and then he dumps it in behind the net. Machu with Reeder skating toward him up the wall. Lewis stopped by the Saints, but he's able to force it ahead. Swatted into the Saints end. Four and a half into the third. Saints down one nothing. The outlet from Seamus to Reeder. Left wing into the zone. Far boards. He'll cut to the bottom of the circle, falling down, spins it across ice. Juvenville on the right wing, cutting down low behind the net. Stops in behind, looking for a feed up front. His pass in front was blocked, tied up to the corner. Ronaldo flips up the wall. Botteril checks, and the Saints have it back. Reader down the wall for Sandriel. Slides back in front. It's tipped off a Youngstown stick in on net, and Wright covers that up with some pushing and shoving after the whistle there. Quickly dissipated by the officials 501 into the third the saints nothing doing so far they're down one nothing early in the third finning, 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 finning. you're winning with finning. when you drive away in a finning car you're winning with finning. and your ride is treated like a superstar you're winning with finning. We take pride in customer loyalty. We're leaders in the community. So come on down and you will see. Finnin, you're winning with Finnin. Finnin. 
Fighting Saints in the USHL Clark Cup playoffs right now. Game two tomorrow night at home against the Phantoms. 5.05 puck drop. Game three and four if necessary on the road in Youngstown Tuesday and Wednesday next week. There will be watch parties here at the arena to come down and watch those games both starting at 6.05 Central Time. 5.01 into the third. The Saints down one nothing here in game one. Paulson, an offensive zone draw. He can't win it. It bounces to the near corner, though, and Hendrickson's there for the Saints. Cross-ice feed. Miss Paulson and Youngstown chips back to the Saints' end of the left. 5-15 into the third. Malbuff behind his own net, chips it up the wall. Hendrickson will go backward, and the Saints can't get out of the zone. Swept to the boards. Patilla on the left wing, shovels in behind the net. It wraps around the wall. Veronin on the right side. Chips it in back, the pass across, hit the referee behind the net, and then it's loose into the near corner. Malba first there, swats up the wall, Strathman kept it in. Veronin cycles and is forced back to center. 540 into the third, one nothing. Youngstown to go early in the second period by Andrew Strathman right after he got out of the penalty box. Saints haven't given up much else. Aiden Wright is 17 for 17 for Youngstown. Puck, Saints end of the left. Swatted free to the wall. Pekar Cheek tries to bank it ahead as he's upended. And the Saints able to find Hendrickson, forces to center. Paulson goes backward in St. Louis with space to look to start ahead. 6.05 into the third. one nothing Youngstown. St. Louis rips into the zone. Left wing feed for Paulson. Slides bottom of the circle. Pekar Cheek tied up. Couldn't hang on to the pass. Then it's flipped out to center by the Phantom. Scott back for it. They'll bank ahead. Giuliani quickly forward. Left wing into the offensive zone. Has Pekar Cheek with him. Giuliani on the left wing. Bobbles. Cuts toward the front. Never got the shot away. It was swept to the wall. Burchill will flip it out. And it's the linesman, but the Saints able to pick up and go back in their own zone. Six and a half in. Third period. Saints down one nothing. Giuliani tips in. Cornforth chases far corner to the right. He wins the race. He's stepped into on the wall. The puck trickles to the point. Kept in by the Saints. Giuliani late hit. Scott lifts it to the corner wall. Osborne there first for Youngstown. And he'll chip it to center. Kicked down by Visenin, but Ronaldo on it. And he'll fire it into the Saints end. Youngstown will peel back on a change. Seven minutes played in the third. The Saints down one nothing. Scott left to right. Corn fourth right wing into the offensive zone. Curls and drags bottom of the circle. Hard angle shot right on to right. And he stops it in the chest and holds on for the whistle with 12.49 left in the third. one nothing Youngstown. The Saints really haven't generated a ton of grade A chances tonight, but are within one in this contest. And they're still rolling all four lines so far in this third period. Well, I mean, they've gotten a lot of effective shifts out of that fourth line, so you might as well keep rolling with it and, and keep everything going the way they have all season, and I think that's going to be the, the smart play as the series goes along. 12.49 to play in the third. It's one nothing Youngstown. Offensive zone draw for the Saints, and the fourth line is out. Frank, Merrill, and Romeo. Juvenville, Seamus Powell at the point. Merrill taking the draw right circle. Near wing against Rusinski. As they wait to drop this face off. Merrill steps up to take the draw for the Saints. He wins back to the point. Juvenville walks the line. Banks in deep. Romeo wasn't expecting it, but he's able to knock it free for Frank in back. He'll bank to the point. It's Seamus on the left side. A shot through traffic. Hit Romeo in front. Swept along and then picked up by Young to the wall. He's stopped on the boards and then he dumps it to center. It bounces into the Saints end. Seamus tied up on the corner wall and he lost it. It's Rusinski right corner. Saints end blasted in and Young couldn't get quite get the full shot off the Saints pick up Merrill tries to go cross ice it's off a skate bounces back into the Saints end Sheamus back for it leads up the wall Jubinville tipped it it was intercepted Rusinski looking in front he slides in behind the net and goes up top for DeHaro left wing Noah stepping up to him. The puck trickles back up top. Taharo keeps in. Swings to the left side. Machu, the shot. Saved by Raylor. That may have deflected in front, and Raylor holds on under his right arm and takes the face off. 11.58 to go in the third. one nothing Youngstown. And Youngstown's been a load. I mean, we've, we've been looking for it all night for them to kind of show the, the wear and tear of that first-round series against Madison, but they haven't. 
You know, they must have the uh, magic tonic to be able to rebound quickly after only having two days off and then having to get on the on a bus for a 12-hour trip to debut. Third period, 12 to play. Youngstown wins the draw. Saints end to the left. Buck turned up top the tip. They score. Serato deflected it past Radler. It's a 2-0 Phantoms lead. 11.53 to play in the third. That's a huge goal for the Phantoms. Obviously, you know, they've carried the play for much of this game. And, you know, now they got a two goal cushion and, you know, they're just 11.53 away from taking a one nothing lead in this series and stealing home ice advantage against the Eastern Conference champions. And, you know, but I know the Fighting Saints have done a great job of responding all season long. They get, you know, just under 12 minutes to, to find a response here. You're going to need one soon for the Saints. Youngstown takes the draw right back in. The shot blocked by Dubuque up out of play behind the net. 11.45 to go in the third. And now the Saints are down two to nothing. Top seed at home tonight. The Saints down late in regulation. Two nothing. 11.45 to play. Face off in their own end of the left. Far circle. The captain, Jake Sondrell, taking the draw. Charlie Serrato just put the Phantoms up two against Sandreal in the circle. Saints looking for a response after the second goal against. Youngstown wins the draw, swinging all the way up to the left point. Machu backhands down the boards. The Saints, Springboard Reader on a breakaway to his forehand. He's tied up the shot. He's dumped. He crashes in, and it's a penalty shot for Jay Reader. He was spilled, crashed into the net. It all came off. He got a shot off, saved by right, and with 11.32 to go in the third period, Jay Reeder to take a penalty shot for the Fighting Saints. Fighting Saints had three penalty shots all season long and didn't convert on any of them. So this is going to be a big situation for Jay Reader and the Fighting Saints. A huge, huge situation. They cut this lead back in half and steal the momentum that Youngstown just had with that tip goal. Saints down two to nothing. Jay Reader with 11.32 left in regulation time. A penalty shot chance. He approaches the puck at center left to right. Weaves wide to the right wing into the offensive zone to the bottom of the circle. Cuts in front. He fans on the shot. Never even got a shot off. It remains 2 nothing. Youngstown, 11.32 to play in the third. That's a tough break, and, you know, Youngstown got away with one. That was a, a clear hook. You know, I mean, it, you know, they got a break with the, the penalty shot being stopped. Otherwise, that's a power play, and the Fighting Saints have another chance to get this uh, back to a one-goal hockey game. But, like I said, the Saints have struggled with penalty shots all season and just as they've struggled with uh, in shootouts all season. Paulson's line out to take the draw after the penalty shot for Reeder. He'll take the draw against Smith. Wins cleanly. Bison into the point. Scott, the blast wide of the net. Chopped on. And Hendrickson couldn't quite get it back toward the net. Pekarchik looking in front. A pass block up the wall. Scott in from the point. Down the boards. And Pekarchik holds on. Swings to the corner. 11 and a quarter to play in the third. Saints down to nothing. Needs something quickly here. And they can't pick it up behind the net. It's out to the center. Patillo will wrap it in deep. All the way in back. Raylor touches it, but can't quite hold on. And Veronin has it in the slot. Smith shot. Kicked away by Raylor. Puck back up the wall. And Paulson to center for Hendrickson. He'll weave into the zone on the right wing. Holds on. Leaves back to Paulson. High slot. His rip. Kicked away. Left toe by right. And the puck turned ahead. Out to center by Youngstown. 10.45 to play in the third. 2-0 Phantoms. Game one. Eastern Conference semis. Puck down the left wing. In back. It's turned over the front, tipped to the point. Sheamus has it there across the blue line for Jubinville. His shot tipped on, and it's punched away by Wright. Puck loose to the corner. Ronaldo up the ball, boards. The Saints keep in. Tipped on, side of the net. Hendrickson, and Wright makes another stop. Ronaldo in the corner, bobbles toward the circles. He's able to chip it off the glass, out to center. Glove down by Jubinville. He dumps it back in with 10 and a quarter to play in the third. It's a 2-0 Phantoms lead. Saints 
0 for 4 on the power play and a missed penalty shot tonight. The puck dumped in from center on Radler. He covers up, takes the whistle with 10.04 to play in the third. 2-0 Youngstown. A goal early in the second and a goal just a couple minutes ago here in the third. Yeah, that was the best chance for the, of the night for the Fighting Saints to get this game back to a one-goal cushion. And, and Jay Reader just couldn't convert it. And, and again, I think you could see on the bench, the Youngstown bench, they were pretty fired up after that. And, you know, they uh, now they, they're just 10 minutes away from locking this down and getting that first game. 10.04 left. Saints down a pair. 2-0. They can't win the draw. The quick shot by Birchall rings wide of the net. And Frank tries to chop it forward. It bounces up along the glass, high in the air. It lands back along the wall and swept in deep by Youngstown. The Saints, the leading offense in the Eastern Conference in the regular season, shut down so far tonight. 0 for 4 on the power play. Down 2 nothing with 9.43 to play. Left to right through center. Frank stopped at the red line, and it's tipped in back to the Saints end. Radler across to the corner wall, and Caleb Dick will start ahead. For Dubuque, his outlet tipped by Young, back to the Saints line, then the outlet again by Dubuque, intercepted before it got to Cornfort, fisted into the Saints end of the left, in the corner for St. Louis, he'll outlet toward Barron, he tips ahead, Cornfort left side, into the offensive zone, holds up at the blue line, swings to the bottom of the zone for Barron, he leaves in the corner, thought Frank was going to go cycle, but he peeled back for a change, Saints keep in at the point, Scott, his shot was tipped, gloved down by Cornfort. Holds on at the blue line. Right side feed for Bison and back across the blue line. The shot by Scott tipped in front, loose. Giuliani tied up, he finds, chips it back toward the front. And it's still loose and it never got to the net. Young to the wall. The Saints swarm him and knock it in back. Barron had gone back for a change. Cornforth lays the hit and it trickles to center. Saints left to right. Holding on in center, though cross ice. 8.35 to play. They're down 2 nothing. Giuliani hammers it in around the boards. Romeo down the right wing, and it's picked off there. Rusinski tries to go cross ice, blocked by Giuliani, and then turn into the Saints end. Radler will settle with 8.20 to play. 2 nothing. Youngstown here in the third. First, pure, er, first game of this series. Serrato right side back into the Saints end. Stopped by Merrill. Saints spring ahead. Left to right. It's Romeo to the left wing for Merrill. Into the offensive zone. High shot over the bar. Off the end glass. Back up top. Giuliani quickly toward the front. Goes all the way through. Up the wall. Sheamus in from there. His rip goes wide. Banks back up to the top of the zone. Noah tried to keep in. They called it offside. And the faceoff will come out to center when we come back. 7.58 to play in the third. Game one. Eastern Conference semifinals. The Saints down two to nothing. Tonight's broadcast on Eagle 1023 is presented by Michelin in Piazza. The Saints entered the third down one nothing. Charlie Serrato from Tomesh Machu and Nathan Lewis has made it a 2 0 Youngstown lead, 8 07 into this third. There are 7.58 left in the third, and the Saints have some work to do to try and come back to take the series opener here. Noah Powell, Jake Sandrell, Jay Reeder to take a neutral zone draw outside Youngstown's blue line to the right. Serrato, Lewis, Botterill out for Youngstown, DeHaro, and Machu at the point. Face off, one by Powell. He'll turn it back into his own end. Sheamus and Jaden Jubinville out for the Saints. Sheamus quickly up the wall to center. Reader towards Sandrell. He'll weave ahead into the offensive zone. And offside called against the Saints as Sandrell and Powell crashed into each other into the Youngstown end. A little bit of a crowd drawing along the wall, but nothing really happening. And it was 7.45 left in the third. 2-0 Youngstown, and the faceoff will be in center. Yeah, the faceoff, the last faceoff that was near the Youngstown bench, you could tell the Phantoms were kind of chirping at the Fighting Saints, and 
you know, a two goal cushion right now with 7.45 to go. They, I'm sure they're feeling pretty good about themselves, but I don't know if you'd want to poke the bear too much in this situation, especially with the long series ahead of you. A little bit of trouble dropping the puck in the neutral zone. Seven forty-five left in the third period. Saints trail two nothing. Noah Powell taking the draw wins cleanly. Jubinville from the red line fires it in. It tips in on goal and it's sticked away to the wall by Wright. Chip back to center bounces to the Saints blue line. Jubinville there his outlet off the stick of reader and then deharo goes back in his own end across behind the net the saints converge win the puck free powell trying to play up top it was batted down the saints kicked it forward but botteril will spring to center saints grab it right back at their own blue line sandriel ahead falls down then chips it forward into the offensive zone deharo back for it will outlet to center fisher scott right off the bench outlets for the saints noah powell dances in left side he falls down and lost the puck it's taken out to center by patilla seven minutes to play in the third saints down two nothing cross ice from youngstown visin and intercepts will go off the left wing and the saints move into the offensive zone offside at the youngstown line with 652 to play two nothing phantoms late in the third Saints starting to run out of time here a little bit. You know, I don't think, it doesn't look like they're really panicking at all on the bench. It looks like, I mean, they still have a lot of confidence. They've been in these situations where they've trailed and they've come back and won. So uh, they're not going to panic, but they're still kind of running out of time here. Need to try and find some momentum quickly here. 6.52 to go in the third. 2 nothing Phantoms. Saints take over in their own zone. And start four left to right. Paulson cross ice, peck our cheek, hammers it in deep. All the way around the boards. Hendricks into the near corner, tips it in below the goal line. Paulson chases after it. It's taken by Pittner for Young Sound. Up the wall, chips it off the glass, bounces to center. Veronin rolls into the Saints end, cutting toward the front. Bisonin able to stick it away from him. Veronin has it back. The pass up high tip by Pegar Cheek. He rumbles ahead. Three on two for the Saints. Left to right, Pegar Cheek. Left wing, Paulson into the zone. Bottom of the ring. Hard angle shot, saved by right. Back to the corner, and the Saints try to dig away. It's loose. Pegar Cheek has it. Spins it toward the front. Hendrickson was there, but it was tipped away from it. 6 8 to play in the third. 2 nothing Youngstown. Flag down into the Saints end, cross ice toward the front of the net. Saints find a loose puck, and Scott will skate forward. Right wing for Paulson, and he just has to knock it in at the end of a long shift. 5.55 to play. Strathman ahead into Burchill, and he'll flip it in deep. Saints end to the left. Malba right off the bench, in behind his own net, up the wall for Frank. Saints start four, chipping across ice. Peck our cheek on the left wing, tried to slice it in deep. It was blocked and flipped out to center. Malba back to his own line, picks up. 5.35 to play. Saints down to nothing. It's St. Louis ahead, left to right, into the offensive zone. Flag down by Cornforth, right side. Feeds toward the net. It was blocked. Cornforth has it back down low, all the way to the point. Cornforth cycling through the zone. A shot ripped wide through some traffic in front. Picked up behind the net by Wilson, and he outlets the Yenchko. Five and a quarter left. The outlet pass just over Virgil's stick. He would have had a breakaway. He catches up behind the Saints net to the left. Shielded off the puck by St. Louis. The Saints move to center, but Barron can't hold on. Five minutes to play in regulation. The Saints down 2 nothing in game one. It's tipped into the Dubuque end of the left. All the way behind the net, Sheamus picks up for the Saints. He'll roll forward, weaves out of his own end to center. Across the red line, he stopped at the Youngstown blue line. Jubinville will shovel in deep. 440 to play. 2 nothing. Phantoms. Radler. Hanging on in the Saints net. Saints force free offensive end. Powell trying to dance toward the front. It was flipped out to center. Jubinville there. Sandra Reader Powell out for the Saints. Sheamus dumps in with four and a half to play. Down to nothing. Right up the wall. Kept in by Sheamus on the left side. He'll knuckle it toward the front. Tipped by Sandra. It went off the side of the net. Sandra pokes it back to the corner. He was spilled behind the net. Saints try to work low to high. Powell on the wall toward the point. Sheamus in from there. Across ice. Jubinville tried the one-timer. He healed it to the corner. Sandriel back up top for Jubinville. 405 to play. The shot through traffic. Gloved by Wright. Noah was lurking, but Wright saw it all the way and gloved it with 403 to play. 
third period. Saints down to nothing. Yeah, probably one of the best offensive sequence in a while for the Fighting Saints. They put some pressure on right and and uh, they got some traffic in front and got some good shots to the net and they just weren't able to they just weren't able to uh, put the puck in the net. The Saints are going to pull Kevin Radler with 4.03 to play. Down to nothing. They keep Sandriol, or they keep Powell out. Hendrickson, Cornforth, Paulson join him. Sheamus and Fisher Scott on the back end. The Saints with offensive weapons out looking to come back with a 2 0 deficit. They win the draw. Left wing, empty net for the Saints. The shot wide up the near wall. Paulson down the corner wall and looking to go back up top. Hendricks in there. Swings it toward the front. It was blocked in the corner. Pittner picks up, pins it to the wall. The Saints have to try and dig free. 345 to play. Empty net for Dubuque down 2 0. Saints take it out of the swarm. It's picked up by Strathman. It's dump out, blocked on the near wall. Paulson can't hold on. It's clear down the ice. Pass Sheamus. Icing called against Youngstown with 332 left. Kurt McDonald and Ryan Ward both still have their timeouts with 332 to go in game one. It's 2 0 Youngstown. The Phantoms trying to argue that that puck was tipped. I don't think it was even close to being tipped, but. It doesn't hurt to try to argue. You can kill a couple of seconds off the clock and give your team a little bit of chance to, to catch their breath a little bit. Sandro out to take the face off. The Saints down two, empty net for Dubuque. They win the draw. Buys it and walks the line. Left wing feed, Peckard cheek rips. It was tipped wide. St. Louis picks back up near corner, goes behind the net. Romeo out for the Saints in the final 320. Buys it in at the point, able to keep it in. High slot, Sandro to the right wing. St. Louis toward the front. It goes all the way through. Back up the left side. Peckard cheek rips it in back. Strathman picks up. His dump out blocked by Romeo. Tied up in the corner. Saints work free. Sandro rips. It was blocked toward the side of the net they fist it toward the front digging away loose puck chipped out the center and all the way down wide of the net by Youngstown 256 to play as Visenin gets the icing call and the Saints are gonna switch their six men out on the ice empty net for Dubuque shots 24 apiece the Saints 0 for 4 on the power play in this game and also having a penalty shot here in the third Jay Reader couldn't convert that's really the difference in this one. And Ryan Ward, after the second icing in a little, in a short stretch, is going to call timeout for Youngstown. 2.56 to play. The Phantoms up 2 nothing here in game one. Yeah, you could tell after they, they iced the puck, they had a couple guys go down on one knee just to kind of check, catch their breath. And at that point, you could see Ryan Ward on the bench. He was kind of nodding his head like, yeah, we're going to take our, our, our timeout here. Normally, they'll, they'll let their guys line up in the face-off zone and kill off a few seconds and and talk about where they're going to go out for dinner after the game and and then they call their timeout but the ward was pretty uh pretty certain that he was going to call it right away as soon as the whistle was blown teams shuttling back toward the youngstown end of the right 256 to play in regulation the saints as the top seed in the East down 2 nothing late in game one at home. Noah Powell to take the face off. Hendricks and Cornforth Paulson with him. Sheamus and Fisher Scott at the point. Right circle near wing against Patilla. It's Noah Powell needing to win a draw for the Saints. Empty net for Dubuque late. Down two. 2.56 to play. He kicks it back. Saints win it. Scott on the left point. He'll shoot. Block. He has it back up top. The blast by Sheamus wide. Turn back toward the front. Tips wide of the net to the corner wall. Paulson back toward the slot. Bent to the point. And the Saints keep it in. Right side. Paulson down low. Kicks it. And then it's chipped off the glass. And down toward the Saints end. Not enough for icing. Sheamus is back for 234 to play saints all the way ahead and icing called against the 230 to play scott tried to play off the left wing and went all the way down and the saints are gonna have to put radler back in two and a half minutes left two nothing youngstown here in game one how does that work how do you, you got to keep the same guys out on the ice who do you decide who to take off you take off the guy who's most tired it is Gavin Cornforth who heads to the bench. Saints with Powell, Noah, Hendrickson, and Paulson up front. Sheamus and Fisher Scott 
as a defenseman. They win the draw. Fish goes back to Sheamus. And the Saints start ahead. Raylor's going to follow the team up the ice. They bat it towards center. Hendrickson couldn't grab it down. So Raylor heads back to the net. Barone cutting into the side of the cage. Sheamus shields him off the puck. 2.15 to play. The puck bounces ahead. The Saints holding on at the blue line and have to go backwards. Sheamus across ice for Scott. He wraps it in deep. Raylor to the hash marks, but staying on the ice. Up the wall. Now Raylor goes to the bench. The shot in from Sheamus. Tipped by Noah. And Wright makes the stop as a couple of players wrestle to the ice. There will be penalties here. And I think that's Noah Powell who's going to head to the box. 158 to play. They're both going to go. It's Patilla and Noah Powell for the Saints. It's a surprise that Patilla is involved in penalties. Re the Reader coming to the bench saying it's a power play for the Saints. Roughing against Patilla and Noah Powell is not headed to the box. It's just Patilla. The Saints are going to get their fifth power play of the night. 158 to play. Kurt McDonald is going to use his timeout here. The Saints 0 for 4 on the power play. Missed the penalty shot as well. They're down 2-0. 158 to play in the third. Patilla off 2 for roughing. The Saints needing a late, late comeback here in game one. And they're headed to the power play for the rest of regulation. Uh, obviously, Youngstown's going to want to get Noah Powell off his game, so they're going to try to play physical. They're going to play after the whistle. That looked like Patilla just came in and grabbed him around the throat and threw him down to the threw him down to the ground. He wasn't even near the goal crease, so I mean, it's kind of a silly penalty to take. You know, they're in a situation now where they have a two goal cushion with two minutes to go. But again, you, Fighting Saints score quickly here. It changes the complexion of the game. They had a lot of good chances with with Raidler pulled for the sixth attacker. So uh, I don't know if it's a very smart penalty to take that in this situation. The Saints are going to keep Raidler on the bench. It's going to be a six on four advantage for Dubuque. 158 to play. Their fifth power play of the night. 0 for 4 so far. The league's best, penal, uh, best power play in the regular season. The six men out. Buys it in. Sandriol, Noah Powell. Jay Reader, Yorai Pekarchik, and Lucas St. Louis. 158 for the Saints to try and find two. Empty net. Six on four with the penalty. Powell will take the draw. Left circle to the right of Youngstown's goaltender, Aiden Wright, who's 25 for 25 tonight. Noah taking the draw against Charlie Serrato. The puck down. Saints win it cleanly. Set up on the power play. Right side, St. Louis holds on. Center point provides in the shot. Tipped on goal. Saved by Wright. Powell got a tip from the slot. It bounced off the ice and Wright able to react to it. 151 to play in the third. Six seconds into the penalty. It's 2-0. Youngstown. Saints on the power play. Net empty. Six on four advantage with 151 to go in regulation. Down 2-0 in game one. Powell taking the draw again against Serato on the left side. He wins it cleanly again. Buys in it. Center point holds on. Left wing feet. Peck our chief back to Vizen and a shot through traffic. Hits a body, bounces to the circle. St. Louis tied up and it's cleared by Youngstown. 140 to play. Saints rush back. 140 on the power play, 135 on the third period clock. Down two, the Saints left to right on the power play. Knife into the zone, right wing, Sandriel, top of the circle, holds on. Feeds to the point for Vizen in, quickly across ice. Peck our cheek, 125 in the third. Reader out in front, and Powell couldn't handle it. It's banked to center, rushing forward into the Saints end. Burchill, but the Saints able to knock back, and St. Louis holds on. He'll leave it behind the net, 112 to play. In the third, the Saints needing two late. Empty net on the power play. Sandro into the zone for Reader. Bottom of the ring. It will fire wide. It goes off the glass and out to center. Last minute of the third. Saints on the power play for the rest of regulation. Down two. Pekar Cheek left wing back into the zone. Holds on. Feeds across the blue line. Buys in and back to Pekar Cheek. Left side. His snap block to the side of the net. Powell tries to work it free. 45 left in the third. Powell shoots. It's gloved by right. Holds on from the top of the circle. The shot from Noah with 42.8 left. Saints down 2 nothing. Both coaches have used their timeouts. There's 42.8 left in regulation. The Saints need two goals. 
it looks like time might start to run out on the on the Fighting Saints here in this situation. But well, I like the way they played the last few minutes, especially after the way they when they pulled when they pulled Raylor, they had a much greater sense of urgency and just couldn't get that puck pass right. Who's been outstanding all night in this shutout? There's 42.8 left. Saints with a six on four advantage. Puck knocked in behind the net off the draw. Hendrickson trying to work free. Pops it toward the front. It was intercepted by Smith. He'll bank it down the ice. Saints rush back. 30 seconds to go in regulation. Forward for Fisher Scott. Cross ice. Kicked down by Paulson. He's tied up in center. Barron trying to work free in the neutral zone. It goes back to the Saints blue line. 20 seconds left. Saints move into the zone. Sheamus at the point to the left side. Hendrickson across sides. One-timer. Paulson. It was blocked. Back in front. Hammered on by Barron. He didn't get all of it. It's covered by Wright with 8.7 seconds left. Two nothing Phantoms. 11 on the Saints power play. It's their fifth of the night. And the face-off will be in the Youngstown end here at the end of regulation. Send Birchall out. Brusinski's going to take the face off against Paulson. Offensive end for the Saints, down two with 8.7 seconds left in game one. Paulson taking the face off. It's tied up on the circle to the point. The blast by Sheamus blocked. He has it back. His shot blocked again, and it goes out to center. And Youngstown will take game one of this Eastern Conference semifinal series by a score of two to nothing. The Saints 0 for 5 on the power play in this game and just couldn't get the offense going. And they fall behind after one game in this series. It's a, it's a five-game series, and uh, the Fighting Saints are going to have to come back and have a great effort tomorrow night if they want to get back in this series and get it even going back into uh, going to Youngstown for games three and four. But, uh, you know, I was really impressed by uh, Youngstown's energy tonight. They certainly didn't look like a team that had played a three and three just earlier in this week. And, you know, now the Fighting Saints are going to have to match that energy to avoid going in a 2-0 hole. Well, the Phantom boss game one at home in the first round. They bounced back with two wins to advance to this round. The Saints, well, they bounce back all year long, and they'll have to do it again tomorrow evening here in Dubuque. The Saints fall 2-0 tonight to the Youngstown Phantoms and trail this best-of-five series 1-0. We'll be back in just a couple minutes here with the Exit Realty post-game show for Game 1 of this series. The Saints fall 2-0 in Game 1. Are you ready to elevate your brand to legendary status? Then listen up, because the Dubuque Fighting Saints have an offer you can't afford to miss. Joining forces with the Saints means more than just getting your logo on the ice. It means becoming part of a rich history of community involvement, passionate fans, and championship glory. For years, the Dubuque Fighting Saints have been a cornerstone of this community, rallying fans, young and old, around the thrill of the game. And let's talk championships. With multiple Clark Cup and Tobacco Cowbell Cup titles under their belt, the Saints aren't just contenders, they're proven winners, delivering heart-stopping moments on the ice year after year. When you partner with the Dubuque Fighting Saints, you're not just gaining brand visibility, you're joining a hockey family like no other. So whether you're a seasoned sponsor or a rookie looking to make your mark, now's the time to jump on board with the Dubuque Fighting Saints and become a sponsor. Call the Saints office or visit them online at DubuqueFightingSaints.com to learn more. Michelin is in the recruitment game and they are scouting for talented people People that join their team. At Michelin and Piasta, they aren't just offering jobs, they're offering opportunities to drive your career forward. Whether you're a seasoned player or just lacing up your skates in the job market, Michelin has opportunities for you, offering benefits day one and competitive wages starting over $20 per hour. Don't get caught off sides in your job search. Go to jobs.michelinman.com. Michelin, where your career journey is as exciting as the final minutes of a tied hockey game. 
This radio spot could be promoting your business, but we figured you must be sitting in the penalty box, which is why we haven't heard from you. Come be a part of a winning team with your Dubuque Fighting Saints. As one of the premier teams in the USHL, the Dubuque Fighting Saints offer their sponsors unparalleled opportunities to align their brand with a winning tradition. With a loyal fan base and a track record of success, partnering with the Dubuque Fighting Saints means putting your brand in front of thousands of passionate fans, both in the arena and online. Contact the Dubuque Fighting Saints today to learn more ebay motors is here for the ride go ahead feel your engine admire that perfectly installed exhaust your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love with ebay motors you get over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply progressive asks what do an escaped leopard. We're alive from the zoo where a leopard has escaped. A growling stomach, an uneaten tuna sandwich, and a backdoor doggy door have in common? They can lead to an unexpected kitchen renovation. Yeah, hi. Is this the zoo? Your leopard is in my kitchen. Bundle your home and auto with Progressive for great savings and round-the-clock protection. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Not available in all states or situations. What's the room again? Uh, 1240. Down at the end. Ooh, what's that? Sammy, don't touch that. That's someone's old food. Here we are. Do you have the key? You have both of ours. Oh, right. Not working. Rub it. Uh, Try flipping it over. Seriously. Why do we go inside? I'm tired. Give me yours. You have mine. All right. What? Please, if you Dad, could just... Dad, why aren't you opening the door? Can everyone just shut the... Don't go there. Go on a real vacation. Go RVing. Learn more at GoRVing.com. Ask Sherwin-Williams during the four-day super sale, April 19th through the 22nd, and get 40% off paints and stains with prices starting at $26.69. That means 40% off our most popular color family, blue. Psychologists have found it to be soothing and relaxing, which makes it especially great for bedrooms and bathrooms. And of course, get 40% off all of our other colors. Shop the sale online or visit your neighborhood Sherwin-Williams store. Retail sales only. Some exclusions apply. See store for details. Beaming from the BK Diesel Eagle's Nest from KXGE Dubuque, this is the Tri-State's classic rock station and home to your Dubuque Fighting Saints, Eagle 1023, a Town Square media station. Back inside, I'm on arena as the Fighting Saints fall 2 to nothing in Game 1 of the Eastern Conference semifinals to the Youngstown Phantoms and, well, Saints... Been a resilient bunch all year. They're going to have to bounce back again tomorrow night in game two at home. We welcome you in to tonight's exit realty post game show. And tonight it is presented by Jared Levy. You can reach Jared, Jared, J A R E D, at exitdubuke.com. The Fighting Saints fall tonight. 2 0 to the Youngstown Phantoms. As we get you tonight, I'm on communications, three stars of the game. The third star tonight for the Saints, Kevin Radler. He was really good. He made some big saves to keep the Saints in it late, but they just couldn't get the offense going. Andrew Strathman, the second star, the game winner. Early in the second period, he came right out of the box, and Jack Wilson found him for a breakaway goal. Seamus Powell tried to stop it, but couldn't quite get back in time. And the first star, Aiden Wright, a 28-save shutout for the Youngstown netminder who struggled in the opening series of the playoffs. Just a 786 save percentage against Madison after going 902 in the regular season. Well, you saw that tonight, 28 for 28. Those are your I'm on communications, three stars of tonight's game. Raidler with 22 saves for all the saves in the regular season. Great Clips made a donation to the Veterans Freedom Center on Kerber Boulevard with the great clip saves for service. 22 saves tonight for Kevin Raidler as great clips. It's going to be great. And the Saints fall tonight throughout the regular season. If they had won, outshot the opponent and won the special teams battle. Progressive Processing and Hormel made donations to local food pantries in Dubuque. And the Saints shut out tonight. It doesn't happen often for the Fighting Saints. And they were just unable to find a way against Aiden Wright tonight. The Saints were shut out on October 14th in or at home against Fargo. Then again on December 30th at home against Waterloo, a 1-0 win. 
shootout loss. That's it in terms of shutouts against the Saints this season. The offense averaging almost four and a half goals a game this year, and tonight could not beat Aiden Wright. That can happen in the postseason. You have to find a way. Make it hard for Wright. Saints certainly will get another crack at him tomorrow. Youngstown not looking like a team that was fatigued in any way tonight. They take game one of this series two to nothing. For every goal the Saints scored in the regular season, Dubuque Screw Products made a donation to youth hockey in Dubuque. So that'll wrap up the Exit Realty post game show tonight. The Saints looking to bounce back tomorrow. In the regular season, after a loss, the Saints 16 3 0 oh 1. They're going to need that resilience again tomorrow night to try and even the series before it shifts back east to Youngstown, Ohio. The Saints open up the playoffs, and, well, it's a 2 0 loss, but that's why it's a five game series. The Saints, another chance tomorrow to even the series at one. We'll have it for you live here on Eagle 1023 and Flow Hockey at 440 for a 505 puck drop. We'll see you then. The Saints fall to nothing in game one. They trail the Eastern Conference semifinals one to nothing in this best of five to the Youngstown Phantoms. Game two tomorrow evening in Dubuque. We'll have it for you right here from I'm on Arena. It's playoff season to Butte. The hunt for a sixth Clark Cup is on for your Fighting Saints. The Saints have had 13 consecutive playoff berths, and they again sit at the top of the Eastern Conference leaderboard, which means the East runs through our house and gives the Saints home ice advantage. Join the Saints as they look to defend Dubuque and earn their sixth Clark Cup championship. This is another season for the history books, and you should be a part of it. Want to be a part of the action next year, too? Join 563 Nation and become a season ticket holder. Dubuque Fighting Saints. Kind of like Blakely. Really appreciate it. Always great to catch up and talk NBA, my friend. Enjoy the second season. We'll catch up again soon. Sounds good. Take care. There he is, everybody. A. Shroud Blakely joining us here on the Progressive Guest Line. Uh, check him out, co-host of the A-List podcast. Always good to get his insight. Uh, not over in the Mile High City in game one. Lakers trying to fight back now. Made this an eight-point game. Remember that number closed seven, six and a half there. So we'll see uh, how the final minutes and regulation go there. Talk much more NBA uh, as well with more of those games. And boy, the injuries. It really might come down to the, the healthiest team still standing at the end of this second season. We'll discuss all of that and then some when you come back with us right here on Sunday Bet Prep.